All right. Oh, that's definitely off. Center. It's a bit bigger now. There we go. That looks better. So visually looks good. What about audibly? Better. Sounds good as well. So hello, hello, people of the internet. It is I, Solar Act Dragon, here back with more Fate Grand Order, where today we will be finishing off the Las Vegas Singularity, so, a.k.a. Summer 4. Now, because I have a limited time and I've been told there's a lot of stuff, I'm going to be following the guide strictly so I know what to expect enemy-wise coming up here. Um, before I do all that, though, there was a really quick announcement in-game news-wise of the Part 10 Interlude campaign, but I'm pretty sure I might have covered that yesterday. Yeah, I'm almost positive I covered that yesterday. Yeah, just pick up the campaign. Nothing major. So, yeah, let's jump in here. Hey, Mordred, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Howby things, howby things. And let's start claiming some mission rewards. 10 Casino Camelot, 20 Blackjack Knights, and literally the last mission I can attempt, 200 million Kiki. Gets us five more eggs. Yay, eggs. Alright. So, final fight Western Gan Ryujima. I'm also probably not going to do voices here just because there's, again, not a lot of time. Good lord, this is loud. I'm turning this down a little bit because, good gracious, I'm about to blow my own ears out. <clears throat> I'm still going to read, though, because I do like the story. Yes, that's right. Sometimes I'm Mr. Mystery, helping you find your way. Other times I represent Casino Camelot's manager. My trained enemy is none other than Merlin, the great major flowers. I never would have guessed. I'm not quite sure how to say this, but... Yes, I knew all along. Huh, really? I knew as well. Me too, of course. I thought we were all simply pretending not to notice. I'm remembering the time I thought my drawing style had changed significantly, only to find out no one else could see any difference. That, that, that. Well, now it seems that we have at least one young lady with no cutting comment. I like your park. It looks like a monster with its mouth gaping open. Great, thanks. Zero out of ten. Worst compliment I ever got. Maybe just the worst compliment ever. Oh. Oh, Lambda, that's a... That's mean. It is a nice parka. Now, now, no need to be bashful. You and I go way back, after all. Don't you remember? It was my idea to surround the city with an ocean. Go on, say it to say you had no idea Mr. Mystery was actually Merlin all along. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about whatsoever. Never speak again. You're an eyesore. Wait, so... Merlin gave Lambda the idea to flood everything? Interesting. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to deceive you guys. But of course, that's no excuse, so I won't try to excuse what I did. Makes sense, right? I suppose that's one way to put it, so you don't feel any guilt over this. Don't you have a heart? Aw. Of course not. I'm just a system who goes around solving problems. All's well that ends, all I always say. So yes, basically. This was all my doing. He doesn't have a heart. Sadness. And poor, poor bunny ruler. Poor, poor bunny Toria. She was sad. Back in that scene. Use my impeccable oratory skills to lure Artoria Lancer's guard at a summer attribute to her spirit origin. Then suggested that the Grand Canyon would be the perfect place for her to spend the summer. And as I expected, she did a wonderful job with the place. Just look how gorgeous this Las Vegas turned out. A dream city pulsing with life and gambling where swimsuit sword masters and her experience of all stripes come together and join casinos in the seven duels of sword beauties. Why'd you do all that, Merlin? Surely even you and go so this far without some sort of reason. Then again, I guess you've never been one to hold back whenever you decide to do something. Indeed, no matter how much he may hold, he ought. No matter how much he ought to hold back, he never does. True. He never really does. Well, no, he does occasionally hold back. I think. Did he hold back in Babylonia? Debatable at some points. Right, Artoria, you remind me of something. Why in the world did you agree to Merlin's unbelievable shady suggestion in the first place? You know, looking back on it now, I'm not entirely sure myself. Goodness knows Merlin's antics have caused me no end of headaches. Still, I do remember that the timing worked out well, as I did need a mecha for which to assemble some suit swordmasters. Yeah, Yagi did say something. I don't remember really what it was. Yes, he did. As I recall, he said the duels take place in Western North America every year. But that doesn't line up with what Merlin told us. You left a gift in my, by my wisdom. 
Okay, I'll look forward to checking that out, man. Really? Well, I can't speak to that. When it comes to swimsuit swordmasters, I barely know anything myself. But I do know that the swimsuit swordmasters needed to be placed together and fight, and that it had to be here. Yeah, what is a swimsuit swordmaster, then, if you don't know what it is? By the way, how do you have a fat? How do you do? I'm afraid that's not my place to say, right, Miss Miyamoto? What are you calling yourself now, Iori? Ah, Musashi's behind it all. You know what? I'm impressed it takes guts to try and get through a situation like this with nothing but a smile. I'm getting a very bad feeling about this, but I'll worry about that later. Hand over the Holy Grail first, and then we'll talk about what exactly is going on here. The Holy Grail is like a drop. You can't just leave it lying around. It's a magnet for trouble. Musashi and maybe Memelin? Teaming up to be masterminds, perhaps? Hmm. You won't find the Holy Grail on me. All I did was introduce Artoria to this property, and all she did was use her gifts to make a city on it. The Holy Grail that spawned this minute singularity is still buried somewhere underneath all these buildings. Hmm. You're right. Merlin messing with her, yes, but you're right. If Musashi was behind this, it wouldn't be a summer event. It would be a Shota event. I gotta remember, Shota and Udon would be the main um, features of this event if it was Musashi behind it. Can't forget that. I would have already collected it if I could, but it wasn't that simple. But I think that lady over there can speak to that more than I can, right, Miss Miyamoto? I was really hoping I could resolve this quietly, but I guess that, sl that ship has sailed. No more running or hiding now that we've come this far. I'll tell you the truth about everything. Lady Yori. Oh, come on, oi. It's so totally Musashi at this point. Alright, formation restricted. Final fight, Western Ganryujima. So we have to have this servant, and Oi has to be in the starting position. Um, I'm not going to change party 10, because that is the specific party. I don't need the Requiem party up anymore, so let us reset this party. Don't know who this archer is. We'll bring along Oi, since we have to. Oi will meanwhile get... Why is... I feel like that might be a visual bug that happened with the update. I feel like that is a bit visual bug with the update that just happened. Made some more memories on Oi. And then we'll also throw in... Uh, we'll put Gil back here, I think, if I can find him easily enough. Oh, Gilgamesh, oh, Gilgamesh. And then we'll go Waver here. Waver, 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 Waver. There he is. With his Bond CE. Gil will get Sumo. And then we'll throw Double Mount in the back. Just, you know, because I can. You're not done with surprises on the server. Did you die again, Boba Fett? Is that the surprise? Did you die again? And lose all your stuff again. I kid, of course, I kid. Uh, we are going to swap over to a more combative Mystic Code. Combat uniform. And let's get this party started. We do have an archer support here. I'm not sure who it is, though. This minute singularity in Western North America. The anomaly and stat and the anomaly and dazzling Las Vegas. Swimsuit swordmasters and her experts like him together. Should have been resolved. With all seven swimsuit swordmasters, including the Summer Lion King, defeated. The seven duels of sorcery should have come to an end. But no, it wasn't over yet. Big steps. Monster. There was still a heavenly demon, a fearsome being of disaster and calamity lurking within this land. The heavenly demon was nothing less than the last and strongest swimsuit swordmaster of all. With the holy grail embedded within its body, the sword demon aimlessly wandered about the Grand Canyon Ganryu Island. Oh, I am going to bust through this. I'm not doing voices. I'm going to find out what exactly the enemies are. I will be finishing this tonight. I saw one of her spirit, a sword fighter, was off on a journey. A journey that seemed like a dark destination, but had nothing of the sort. 
after the Swordfighter had walked for a long, long time. They arrived at the Grand Canyon, the center of the, what is now dazzling Las Vegas. The Swordfighter was completely penniless. There was no magical energy they could use on the barren ground for no food to be found, and no people nearby they could ask for help. By the way, Dante, I'll be things, I'll be things. They did have some uncooked rice and uncooked flour kept for emergencies, but they didn't have a pot to cook them in. But just when they were on the verge of starving to death from a lack of magical energy... Yes... A pure sheer coincidence they happened across something that, that could help. The Holy Grail. It must have been a place where the lands, ley lines, and such happened together in just the right way. Then, while looking at the Holy Grail, the Swordfighter had a thought. When you think about it, what's the difference between a Holy Grail and a pot, anyway? <sighs> Use the Holy Grail to cook, again. Turned out that inc it turned out incredibly, incredibly good. Since the rice the Swordfighter made within the Holy Grail was the best rice they'd ever had in their life, and they were so, so hungry, they decided to try making udon in it next. That's when it happened. Udon, huh? Swerp against an Udon servant. A new, completely unprecedented kind of anomaly. A Swordfighter's association with Buddhism acquired over the years of the ascetic practice reacted poorly to the Grail. It severed itself from the Swordfighter's spirit origin and manifested independently as a heavenly demon. The Swordfighter hurriedly tried to stop it, but it was too late. The heavenly demon had already stolen the Swordfighter's skill with the sword. And as a result, they, she ended up turning into a Berserker. Oh, so that's how we have Berserker Musashi. It's a tragedy, a loss for what to do next. The girl decided to forget about the Heavenly Demon and went on her way. But it wasn't long before the guild of letting this fiend loose on the world, which may well lead to a terrible disaster, got to her. So she decided to talk to a shady mage she once happened to run into in a weird underground cavern, and asked him what she could do to clean up her mess. That would be me, in case it wasn't clear. She wasn't my type by any means, but she was serious enough about this to threaten me with her swords. At any rate, I may be heartless, but I'm not an animal, so I told her. Alright, let's seal away the area where this heavenly demon thing is roaming around. If I'm not mistaken, you've locked down an entire island with the enemy in it before, right? That's the right call for this situation, too. Fortunately, I happen to know a king who can do something similar, so I'll see if she can't help us. So that's where I come in. Right, you are. I led Artoria to the Grand Canyon and convinced her to build a city in the middle of it. Uh, second Las Vegas, I did a cool to the first, save for being an imitation, so the heavenly demon sealed away. They then came up with a system to select someone with the potential to defeat this heavenly demon. Ah, that's why the Sumasu Sword Swordmasters. For that, I think you can blame the temperament of the Swordfighter who caused all of this. This heavenly demon is picky about her opponents and won't accept defeat unless it's at the hands of another saber. Yeah, sounds like something from the Hot Springs. <laughs> so as I am now a ruler, I cannot defeat this heavenly demon myself. And the one who causes must cannot clean it up by herself either since she is now a little berserker. Even if she won, the heavenly demon would only absorb her, becoming a demon king with the potential to wreak even more havoc. So she needed someone who could fight in her stead. Right, the sword fighter decided to look for some suit swordmaster who could defeat the heavenly demon Musashi as a saver. And to do whatever she could to help them. Lady Iori. Based on everything you told us, that doesn't sound like there's too many sword fighters who fit that description. In fact, it kind of sounded to me like you were talking about yourself, Lady Iori. No, she's clearly talking about Subanai. What is that? This magical energy is practically to bring with bloodless master. Here she comes. Here comes the demon. What's going on? Where'd all the pretty buildings go? Magic energy textures converging the city just went flying. It's supposed to be the land's original. No, that's not it. The heavenly demon is changing this land into what it looked like before the summer Lion King made it into dazzling Las Vegas. Master, get back. You be careful too, Mashu. You be careful too. I will. No, oh, this is so bad. Impressive, this aura would drive any ordinary person madness on the spot. To my master will be your shield. Oh, this is going to be a hassle. It's not just magical energy. I don't sense any limit to our animosity either. What the hell is that? <laughs> just like when I saw the first saw the summer Lion King, no, it's even stronger. You already said the sword fighter lady was looking to raise a swimsuit, sir, save her swimsuit sword master to defeat this heavenly demon thing, right? And she had to be talking about me, right? Oh. Oh, I still don't know. Never since a vengeful spirit bearing so much hatred as this heavenly demon thing before, am I really supposed to fight or let alone win? How can I possibly? <laughs> okay, there she is. She's here, she's here, she's here. That dark figure, she's about as big as any other woman, but I can sense danger radiating off her. Radiating off her. She's like beyond even the strongest swimsuit swordmaster. 
The grace of a swimsuit doesn't really matter here. She's a real swordmaster, a manslayer who will cut you down so so much as get near her. Well, right, what am I supposed to do now? It took us a long time to get here, but we finally find the genuine article. This should be the final battle. Huh? How's he moving towards her? He's got to be feeling this intense aura just as much as me. How are you able to do that, Lord Siegfried? It's all right, Hokusai. This woman, that woman there is far beyond the bounds of a swimsuit swordmaster. If you are unable or unwilling to draw your swords against her, I will be glad to fight in your stead. You'd really. Uh, now I get it. I was never a true swordmaster. At best, I just wanted to be a run real bad. But you, you're the real deal. Lord Sacred, the Dragon Slayer of the West. You're not just a swordmaster, but a hero. Oh, is Subanai the actual hero of this event? Is that going to be the grand reveal? Compared to you, I'm just been running around talking about being a tough sword fighter, painting and a fairy. But as soon as I come up against the real thing, I get so scared my knees won't stop knocking. I'm so pathetic. Oh, I'm so pathetic, I can't stand it. Hoax I master, everyone. Lady Iori. Before I get started, I just wanted to apologize. I'm so sorry. This whole thing was all my fault. I chose to go by my apprentice's name because at best I'm about half the woman I once was. I'm sorry for deceiving you all up until now. The truth is, I'm not Miyamoto Hiyori. I'm Shinman Musashi Haranobu Miyamoto Musashi. Yeah, you kept announcing it during your NP, so it wasn't too thing. And you were right. Only this time, I'm rooting to in Gunslinger and Swordmaster Berserker. Miyamoto Musashi. The Miyamoto Musashi of the Nintendo Inchi Ryu? I can't believe it. Things are moving so fast, I can't keep up anymore. This means I've been fighting alongside the Miyamoto Musashi all this time. Aww. If only it turned out to be such a good... If I only had it turned out to be such a goddamn coward. I've been fighting and win by your side-by-side -side with legendary Miyamoto Musashi countless times by now. The Heavenly Demon. They got me so scared I can barely think straight. I I can't stand how pathetic I am. Oi. You're not pathetic. It's okay, Master. Laugh at me. I'm just an immature br little brat with a big mouth. That demon got a hold of Miyamoto Musashi's power of the Buddha, right? This is all too much for me. I... No, Hokusai, you've got it all wrong. I could never have made it back here if it hadn't been for you. The things you say, how you smile, the way you look up at the sky determined to take on the world, those are all things I had when I was younger, things I'd nearly forgotten about. You're the embodiment of infinite possibilities. You're the passion I dreamed of when I was young. It's only because you can ch you challenge and witness the seven different embodiments of beauty. That she can ascend! That I'm able to stand here now and face myself once again. Specifically, I can't defeat my demon self on my own, so I need a saber to help me. Yeah, that's a little blunt, don't you think? You mean, you the me, Mono Musashi, want to fight alongside me? What do you say, Hokusai? I'm happy to help you out in any way I can. Yeah, then. Yeah, then yeah, you bet. If the legendary Miyamoto Musashi is inviting me to join her, you better believe I want to be as badass as I can right to the end. If I didn't, I could never look myself in the eye again. Ain't that right, Toto-sama? Where I'd meet my father, I would cut him down. Where I meet a friend, I would cut them down, too. My heart has lost any humanity it had. One cannot slay the void without giving oneself over to emptiness. The way of the sword is the way of oblivion, a path to zero. All that I m see must be slain without mercy. She's right, the thing really isn't human anymore. Yeah, it's something that mass some it's something that masked the sword so far beyond what is humanly possible that it blew up and hold to something beyond this world. I know that fear is void, I know it too well. So I'm scared it feels like my heart's gonna burst up and burst, but so what? I've got the legendary Nation Min Musashi on my side and the Heroic Dragon Slayer, not to mention the other swimsuit swordmasters from all walks of life. No way I can cut down a mere monster with an all-star lineup like that backing me up. No way I can't cut down a monster. Yeah. Tongue tied. I shall glare in all directions. I am the sword beauty mad about art, Katsushika Hokusai. You wanna fight, you big heavenly demon? You got it. Let's do this thing. Ridiculous. No minnow swimming upstream can hope to stand against me. This hot blood of yours will soon be no more than nourishment for my blade. Talk about edgy! Okay. Learning all directions, the sword beauty mad about Katsushika Hokusai. Versus the traveling swordmaster, Heavenly Demon Musashi. Prepare yourselves. Fight! Alright. So, Musashi. Hmm. This could be a troublesome fight. But I've got rainbow apples just in case. Okay. I got a so this is the real swordmaster. Miyamoto Musashi is here. Empty strength up and a target focus. 
A Berserker with target focus does not sound smart, game. Oh, and an attack and defense increase. But NP strength up is actually really good here. Um, let's try and... Hmm. Okay, what does the guide say about this? Is there any NP instant charge? Um, first break bar ignores and defends second burst extra damage against non-saber. So no, there is no NP blast, so we're going to start off with a stun. That way I can avoid some issues. Alright, so start off like this. I forgot to check what this defense buff it has is. Okay, that wasn't much, but it was something. Now, XL turn, and go like this. I should have Oi's NP here. Ouch. Um, increase attack for three turns and guts for one time for three turns. Okay, so Heavenly Demon's Gaze. Get the guts up. Let's break through this first break bar. And let Oi generate some NP. Oi has her NP at the ready now. Oh, Siegfried's Protection gives me more max HP. But she now ignores defense. Guts procs. Alright, now we use Tactician's Command. This is going to be Musashi's last turn alive, probably. As we use her as a Hail Mary shot against herself. Jeez, Musashi can't beat herself or anything. Totally, totally not true. I can't believe Musashi lied to me about that. That's a lot of buffs. Oh, and Sumanai just removed her attack buffs. Good job, Sumanai. Good job. I don't know why you waited so long to do that, but, you know, I'll, I'll gladly take it. Alright, boy. Let's finish this. This time, she will be the victor. Doot, doot, doot. Let's go, Oi. Prove yourself as the ultimate swimsuit sword beauty. Really, Lambda is the ultimate one, but, you know, we'll let her think she is. Not bad damage. Not bad damage at all there. That was fairly easy. Suma and I definitely helped out there, now that I think about it. He negated most of her buffs. Thank God. I wonder if you could have three-turned that. Hmm. I don't know. It's possible. But I was more concerned, because like I said, I'm looking at the guide on Game Press, and it didn't mention anything about, um... Freaking Sumanai negating most of those buffs it got. So I was really worried here. Not gonna lie. Finish when I still couldn't kill it. I hate to say it, but this is the best I got. Finish it, Lady Musashi. You did great. I'll take it from here, though not without a little help. So this is why you order that giant tsunami from me. I take that this is where you want it delivered then. Sure is, one sword master on ice, please. A giant tsunami from Lambda. Impressive. Not a problem, I'll we'll be saving this to drown the Lion King in her Las Vegas, but I'm found using it on an opponent like this. You're going to face the Serpent of Judgment, Leviathan Melt Purge. Ooh, Leviathan Melt Purge. So is that a second Noble Phantasm she has, perhaps? Interesting. <laughs> Maybe this is exactly what it was like back then. Mystic Sword Counter Incoming. Here it goes, Anti-Swordsman and Anti-Swordmaster Grand Bounded Field. 
This is my... Ganryujima. So that's why her final Ascension's NP is so much cooler looking. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. Also, that's that. We get, oh, uh, say Quartz. Woo! Quartz. And another mission complete. Five mirrors. And no further missions have been unlocked yet. We still have 22 missions to freaking complete. The Gildalay Hotel. All settled, no battles. Alright. It's a lot. It's a string of no battle quests, it looks like, per the guide here. And then we get to the extra quests. Yay! Bow. I think we're making decent time. We're only about half an hour in, and we're nearly done with the story. So Vegas is returning to normal. I think I'm making good time, yeah. I do indeed think I am. And with that, it was gone. The demon that possessed the Holy Grail in the Western North America disappeared along with the fleeting, dazzling version of Las Vegas like so much sea foam. That is to say, this was nothing less than the female Musashi's incredible art of swordsmanship. A special spirit origin born to humiliate, decimate, and utterly crush sword fighters who had fallen to evil wickedness and wrongdoing. Her mystic sword counter, also known as the Anti-Swords and Anti-Sword Master Grand Vouted Field Gunryu, Gunryu Jima, thing using the wind to create from the fi created five rings of her swords, earth, fire, water, wind, and void. She whips up a flood of seawater to surround her opponent before slicing him up like a cascade of waterfall clean in half. No, that's how you get rid of a heavenly demon. I'm not sure about that, Hokusai. There are other noble phantasms that can. Never mind my apologies. <clears throat> ah, boy was telling that. And we're returning to Caldea. You know, we should have totally brought Gordolf with us. He would have loved Vegas, I feel. Welcome back, guys. You did great. The mining singularity in Western North America has already begun to self-destruct. It will stick around for a little while, but that's okay. The important thing is, it should no longer be able to affect humanity. Mission complete. You mean, it can no longer affect us because there's not much humanity left? Well, for the most part, anyway. Musashi, you've still got a lot left to say to you, so you're not going anywhere for the time being. I'll say, I generally don't know where to begin. Alright, for starters, Holy Grail Rice, what in the world were you thinking? This undoes all the good work you did in Russia and then some. Serve me, Yamoto Musashi, I'm putting together a special program for you that is damn sure gonna make you turn over a new leaf. Aw, poor Musashi. <laughs> it sounds like you get some delightfulness shift. I think I would have joined it. But you should probably try to stay out of trouble for a while. Yes, the next time you think to make rice. And should you happen to see a Holy Grail, please give me a call. Oh, Amakusa, one of those grails. You cooked rice and Holy Grail. That seems an act of pure insanity, but I suppose you would not have done so unless there was truly no alternative. Base Seba! Congratulations on your safe turn, Lady Musashi. Rest well, you've earned it. We don't see Base Seba in many things. We really don't. I think Summer 1 might have been the last time we actually saw a baseline saber have some dialogue. Hmm? Cooking rice and holy grail, huh? Why does she have thoughts about that? Hmm. Well, now if it isn't Lady Musashi, I'm glad to see you and Master return safely. You'd think that a single meal could lead to think a single meal could lead to such an ordeal, but then I would expect no less of one of your caliber. Just everybody burning poor Musashi. You won't do it again, right, Musashi? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Even at the time, I vaguely remember thinking this could destroy the entire Western Seaport. <laughs> and hoping I could do something to fix it without causing too much trouble. How can making rice in an infinite potential magical object destroy the whole Western Seaboard? Well, then, instead of taking responsibility, I pretended to be someone I'm not, and I'm really, really sorry. Yeah, you didn't mean for this to happen, Musashi. It's fine. Thanks, old. That's really nice of you. Sorry again. So many dots. She's so introspective. She's so sorry. There she was, the great Shinmin Musashi Haranobu, looking sadder and sorrier than I'd ever had imagined possible. 
Of course, she wouldn't be left deterred for long. The next day... What'd she do the next day? Okay, I'm gonna get going now. I know I caused a whole lot of trouble this time, and believe me, I've had a change of stomach... <clears throat> heart. No more Holy Grail rice for me, no matter how hungry I get. Later, soul. The next time we meet, I promise I'll make this up to you. Why are you leaving? There's nowhere to go! The earth has been bleached white, Musashi. What are you gonna do? And just like that, she was gone with the wind. Man, she was so cool. I don't know why she keeps leaving Caldea to go off on these journeys all by herself. But even though she comes to it from a completely different time, place, and world, she still doesn't think twice about it. Now that's my kind of woman. Eh, not really. Well, there you have it. They do say this Lady Musashi's pretty different from the one in our history, but she's still a hell of a gal. And I got a place being a foresider, sword fighter alongside her, like we were on the same link. Ain't that right, Master? Man, that's great. I couldn't ask for anything more. Oi. Come on, cheer up. It ain't like I'm gonna die to go back to the throne. I'm just gonna back to my regular spirit origin. Sure, I've never done this before, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'll still be me. I'm still your servant, Katsushika Hokusai. That ain't gonna change. Well, see ya. Confirm to change in Katsushika Hokusai spirit origin. Now that the Grand Canyon singularity has been repaired, the effect on our spirit origin should get away too. She's gonna stay the same. Oh no, she's not. I actually thought she was gonna stay the same. Hey, Master. And it's alright, I remember everything that happened. I'm still the same person I was before. I remember the Las Vegas where I fought Lady Musashi. And we're in a swimsuit. And being a sword fighter painter with four stars. Swords. Who dreamed about becoming a fairy. Looking back now, it's hard to believe I did all that. I never even held a sword before, and I don't even know if I... That story you heard about my ancestors being sword fighters is true or not. Man, I sure had a lot of nerve acting like a big shot sword fighter painter. In fairy, where would I even get all that? I was really kind of all over the place, wasn't I? A little bit. Oh, what was I thinking, acting so childish? Forget you saw anything. Oh, sigh. Please, Master, just forget all that happened. That was me acting out my most embarrassing childhood dreams. I never meant to ever, for anyone to actually see him. Loved it. The sore beauty, mad about art. Uh, Senpai, I think that remark only made her feel worse. Forget you saw anything. She's getting really fired up about this. Aw, she's so embarrassed. That's kind of cute. And that's the long and short of it. Shamelessness and anxiety are both inextricable par aspects of who we are. Like I said, no matter how much we may struggle against them, it wouldn't make any difference. I never thought the mistakes I made when I was young would come back to bite me like this. But even so, I'll still say this. Everyone makes mistakes during their hopelessly childish period of their lives. Along with the not-so-childish period. True. But then again, you can't lump all mistakes together. Even if I'm the embarrassed to death by these things now, there was a time when I used to believe in them proudly. Besides, putting them in context of everything that happened this time... I can't say they were all that bad, after all. Hey, Toto-sama. Even though I'm still so embarrassed and it feels like my face is gonna burst into flames... It still kind of turned out alright in the end, don't you think? Everyone's shamed of something in their past, but it's all part of what makes up our memories. Live in all sunshine and rainbows, you never know what's going to happen in it, good or bad. And since this latest incident inspired me to paint a picture that this boat evocative... Ah, she painted Musashi. A sad Musashi! <laughs> sad Musashi. I figure it couldn't have been all that bad. I mean, just like how this picture came out, Totosama. She's one of the strongest sword fighters to ever live, and here she is looking sadder and sorrier than anything I've ever seen. Lady Musashi, huh? I like that. One of these days, I'd love to grab a drink with her in this in this origin. I'd bet we have a whole lot of talk, to, a whole lot to talk about. I'm sure you would, Oi. I'm sure you would. Okay, and that is the conclusion. So Oi can switch back and forth between spirit origins, but she's a little bit more childish. Or rather, pursuing her childhood dreams in her swimsuit form. So she was a bit of a chuny as a child. Good to know. And a holy grail get. We definitely need one. We definitely need them. Casino Camelot still isn't under freaking fever quest. I could have swore I was going to be all the end. All settled bonus. This is probably going to be where we actually unlock Oi. <laughs> Bow. We have 
when it... So yeah, the fee request. Unexpectable. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Yeah, it should be all of them on the last two days of content. I don't know. That sounds like Lancer Reiko. I wonder who's being unacceptable now. Better nip this in the bud quickly. Right. We're up to nip this in the bud. What are you thinking with that outfit? No lady as young as you should ever go around bearing that much skin. That sort of thing may fly in a tourist trap, but here it's absolutely unacceptable. You disgrace your past and present self alike by dressing so immensely. Have you no shame? Ah! She summoned herself independently. Shame. What do I gotta be ashamed about? Ain't like I'm gonna go around in my birthday suit. I'm gonna go around bearing my skin to the sun as much as I dang please. Know why? Because I'm Katsushi Kakushika Hokusai, genius sword fighter, painter, and future fairy. Back in our swimsuit origin, I see. No, Senpai, that's not it. I can confirm that the original Hokusai is currently in the cafeteria. So this one must be your own individual spirit origin. Wouldn't be the weirdest thing indeed. It would not be the weirdest thing indeed. Oh. You know, that's a good point. <laughs> they have certainly been, in prior instances, of single spirit origin dividing into two. That must be how we get Janta and Jalter. Jean Alter and Jean d'Arc Santa Alter Lily are also prominent example. I knew it! But then in that case, what about the uh, Octopus Hokusai, her father? Oh, hey, Master. Hey, Mash. Hope oh, you don't mind that I showed up again out of nowhere after our teary farewell. Because I plan on sticking around this time. So now there's two oys in Caldea. Interestingly interesting. Excuse me. And our copy of Oi has now become permanent. Awesomeness. Yo, Master, is this the first time we're meeting? Yo, Master. Nah, we're old pals already, aren't we? I'm the best when I paint, and I'm like a fairy when I play. I can mix up up between 47 when I draw a blade. Excuse me. The extraordinary female ukiyo-e painter, Katsushika Hokusai? That's me. What? Good for me to have my guardian tag along? Oh, how rude. I'm gonna make Toto Summer retire once and for all. She's gonna get inked now? Oh, nope, I thought she was, she was, she was about to get inked. Alright, but that is our permanent copy of Oi. Sort of suit version. And that still has not unlocked more freaking missions. So, back to All Settled Bonus 2. Another No Battles quest. We're starting to get to the extra quests, it looks like. They don't look too hard from first glance, at the very least. They don't look too hard at first glance. So, Master, I know it's a little awkward asking this now, but what the hell is a swimsuit sword, Master, anyway? And sword beauty makes even less sense. Serious there, Oi? Hell yeah. So, what are they, then? Let's see, there's Grace and Blade, and uh, what was the other thing the Summer Lion King mentioned? Honestly, it just happened and I don't remember. No, oh, whatever, I've still got a great, still got a great ring to it. Honestly, all those other gals and swimsuits I met out there in Las Vegas were all one of a kind. Indeed, especially Lambda. Especially Lambda. I still have no idea why Okita became a swimsuit sword master, and then she just vanished. You know. She didn't even help us in the conclusion of everything, you know? She had a small spot to shine, and then she was gone. Poor Okita. Even when she finally gets a swimsuit, she does not get a major role. So I guess we can just chalk the whole thing up as a summer we'll never forget. Besides, it's not like being a sword fighter or paint painter in a future fair makes any more sense. Eh, you never know. Oh, that sort of thing up your alley, too. Just kidding. I mean, you know... I had childhood th dreams and stuff. Like, angel, demon, hybrid thing. I was a bit of a chuny as a kid. I know it's gonna be back, Master. 
Although it was more just nerd in general. Oi's profile has been updated. Uh, she was a fan. Went to an Amos inherit her father's pen name, which enhanced her fame even more. And hopes her father will watch over her success. She's though she's still fledging, but she's covered in her own creativity. As a servant, she is burning with curiosity and believes a desire to learn more is important. A desire to learn is more important than talent. The tomboyish and vivacious personality is Oi herself, but at times she does find a modest, shy side to herself. Aww. Okay. More Underground Sword Beauties match. Just keep the quests a-rollin' here, it seems. Just keep the quests a-rollin'. Oh, stretch, 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 stretch. Senpai, I just realized something. Is it just me, or did the Las Vegas Singularity turn out to be a little different from what Yagyu told us? What did he tell us? I don't remember. There's so much I have to learn about this modern world and its customs, but I've heard of this. Every year in the far-off lands of Western North America, there is a grand competition to determine the greatest swimsuit swordmaster in the world. Not really. That's pretty much how it turned out. You said the championship match, aka the Seven Duels of the Sword Beauties, is held once every year in Western North America, right? Precisely, there's a significant contradiction between his testimony and this incident's conclusion. Dazzling Las Vegas, as well as the Grand Canyon Singularity that contained it, are very recent creations. Yet, Taijima no Kami said it was an annual event, as though it had been taking place for many years prior. Hey, Holmes, what are you doing? Where are you doing that thing where you knew the truth all along? He's not gonna say. He probably did. But chose not to say anything until you had the conclusive evidence again. Are you serious? He always does this. Say something, damn it. Ugh, you're the worst. I'm starting up the middle of conversation, Master. Da 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 da. The truth is, well, Siegfried. Everything all right there, man? Yes, I'm fine. It's just that I can't help but feel like my own problem still hasn't been solved. I feel like there's still some fighting I must do, and while wearing this summer outfit. As a matter of fact, Master, I have the same uneasy feeling as well. I was sure we defeated the cause of the singularity, and yet, damn it, how could I have been so careless? Oh, back to Vegas. That's right, the swimsuit store master duels are still not over. The grand scumbag. <laughs> Believe me, Mr. Merlin, Mage of Summer, and yes, it's me again. Now, what was it again? Oh, yes, yeah, swimsuit sword masters. <laughs> Did you really think it was all over? Well, you couldn't be more wrong. Those casino managers were never really had anything to do with swimsuit sword masters. Neither did they have any demon. They were all just taking advantage of the existing matches. In other words, there's round two. The true swimsuit sword master duels are far from over. In fact, it has only just begun. So you have to go to each of the casinos and fight new bosses there. An event where her experience from all walks of life, past, present, east, west, and so on. All gather together to do one thing. Fight! They fight to determine which of them is the strongest and to create one final summer memory. Makes sense. That... It is the true late summer championship match. Also known as the Secret Seven Duels of the Sword Beauties. The Secret. Late Summer. Why Late Summer? The Secret Seven Duels of Sword Beauties. I can feel my pulse pounding, my blood boiling, my heart heaving. Even I can't believe how excited I am. Me either. I never wanted to fight so badly, and all I have to do is so in this outfit. I'm not even in my Shinobi uniform. What's wrong with me? Keep it together, you two! Keep it together. I think I'm starting to tremble with anticipation, too. That's right, this event is so powerful, even spectators get worked up. Now go on, Master. Summer has only just begun. Go enjoy yourself until the singularity disappears entirely. As a producer, I'll make sure this turns out to be an especially intense summer. Intense summer. Gordolf's got something to say. Can I say something? Yes! Is it just me or is this question of whether these swimsuit store master deals really do take place in Western North America every year still very much up in the air? That mage didn't actually say anything about that, right? I know he said that's right, but was he actually saying it about that particular point? You never know, really. You never know. It could be a thing. Will someone please explain this to me in a way that makes sense? Plus, there's still Servant Fest to consider. You know, it's such a shame we did not get invited to another Servant Fest. <laughs> such a shame. Okay, so... It's the... We have to defeat three underground. 
And we've completed 14 missions so far. Good grief, just we probably completed more than 14 missions at this rate. Alright, 90 humans gets us Lance of Embers, whatever. And then 60 Wild Beasts gets us Gem Casters. But I didn't make any such Dojins. I totally did not. 20 Super Giant Enemies unlocks one. And 5 TOB. 20 Dancing Coins bonus gets us a Golden Foe and unlocks one. 40 Lawful Servants gets us 5 Horns and unlocks one. Nope, I do not recall making any... 800 Gene Chips gets us 5 Mirrors and unlocks one. I remember Blackbeard. He, he lent us his sweet, but that's all I remember. 30 Balanced Servants gets us 5 more TOB and another one. 30 King Servants gets us 5 Grease Beast. Beast Grease and another one. 30 Loved Ones gets us 5 Horns and another one. Good gracious. 30 Servants with Luck A or Higher gets us this CE, which is pointless. Because I've already got it max limit broken, but it's still nice to have. And unlocks another one. All VIP quests gets us a copy of Oi. Bond 3 with Oi gets us a copy of Oi. That's MP3 Oi. Oi in the party 20 times gets us this command code for Brush of Mad Painter. Which is crit strength by 20% for engraved arts cards. Pretty good. Could go on Lambda. The Extraordinary Artist Giant Brush, it's, lo it's as long as the person is tall, but no theme or subject material is too extreme once the brush is taken up. Yet if the brush is wielded by someone who is not as talented, or if they are sound of mind, the resulting work will hardly be graze the realm of gods. Should that be the case, the only choice will be obsessed over painting like a madman. And 70 missions gets us yet another copy of Oi. Good gracious, that was a lot of missions completed all in one, and we get another mission! This one gets us a Spirit on Dress. The Spirit on Dress is... Which one is it? Simple Spirit on Dress, Celebrity on Ice. So that is the Melt Spirit on Dress. And it unlocked Mission 100. We are six missions off from being able to do that. But they are locked until we complete more Dancing Coins, all quests, and defeat more of the Underground Sword Beauties. How high up can I ascent, can I, um, NP Oi at this point? I have a curiosity game. Care to tell me? Care to tell? Why did I go to summon? I meant enhance. I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, I can get her to NP4, my as well. One, two, three. NP4 Oi for me. And since I've got the QP to spare, let us also unlock wardrobe. Unlock Lambda's Spirit on Dress here for a cool 3 million. I will probably keep her in her Final Ascension though, because I do like that the best. You know? I think Final Ascension Lambda is best version. And then we will max Grail Lambda as well, and then get the party started with getting all these optional quests done and rinsed. Okay. Um, so let me really quickly switch Lambda back. Back to this. Back to this. Back to that. And back to that. And... Come on, game. Come on. But I vaguely remember the weird Dojin that we ended up making, um, there. Or we kept going like Sasuga or something like that. We seemed like brainwashed or something. It was weird. Alright. So. Per the guide, the first one we need to do is Extra Quest 8 at Resort Hotel. So the Resort Hotel is here. We have to do by completing mission number 46. Which is 40 dancing coins. So we can't do that one just yet. Frick. Also, I think Reflector might have just crashed. 
Yep, reflector just crashed on me. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so we're gonna have to get more Danzen coins. That means more... I mean, I'm gonna have to farm anyways. Just, you know, wasn't planning on doing that on stream. Frozen, 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 frozen. Come on, game. Load a little faster. Load a little faster for me, Reflector. Oh, I love it when Reflector just rando crashes. So good. Okay. I'm going to exit out of Reflector and reboot. Reflector up. Hopefully that fixes the issue. Stop mirroring. It can be so titchy, itchy, twitchy. It can be so finicky. There we go. 6416. Link it up. There we go. Alright. We're back. So this one I need to get more dancing coins, which is annoying, but doable. I just need to see if maximum breaking the Demonic Sun Princess CE gets us a full 100% chance. I could do that easily enough. So before we do this one, um, let us do the Emperor Hotel then. This is against the man, the myth, the legend, Mothman. And drops us two stacks of the five star currency. But it's literally two stacks, so it's nothing really special. Royal Amusement is the name of this one. We'll read it out. Well, now if it isn't Soul. Well, hello, Ryder. I mean, Iskandar, King of Conquerors. I didn't know you were here, too. Well, I'd like to suggest a contest of luck now that we've happened to run into each other here. I'm afraid I have not left anything to bet, since I just got everything I had taken. You mean you lost a gambling? Oh, yeah, big time. They only wiped the floor with me. Yeah, you seem in good spirits, man. <laughs> That's because I got to enjoy part plenty of time on the razor's edge between success and defeat. That sort of thrill is well worth the money I experienced to lose it. I lost to experience it, but you can't win them all, especially when it comes to gambling. And for leisure pursuits like this, where the worst thing on stands loose is money, my usual inhibitions tend to go right out the window. He is a he's a man of entertainment. Perhaps well, then I choose to stay in the game longer than I should have, though part of that is because my opponent did an excellent job of stringing me along. They turned out to be a real beast. Guess today just wasn't my day. Was he really a good player at this casino? Sure was, in fact, they should still be killing it over at that table. The table killer. The Mothman! Wow, I can barely even see him behind that mountain of chips. Raise. Oh, you must have quite the hand. Forget it. We fold. Judging by their opponent's mood, I'm guessing the other guy was bluffing. And Chin didn't notice. Of course they did. They knew their opponent was gunning for them, so they decided to play along. Take a look. Now the other two players have started raising the stakes in situations like this. Mothman. Raise. Call. I'll raise the two. Call. Call. And the river card. Check. 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 So this whole... This is where we lay our cards on the table. Very well. Let's see. It seems we have a pair in three of a kind. If we're not mistaken, this is what's called the full house, no? Ugh. Nicely done, man. Oh, man. Nicely done. I don't understand. If they're so good, why would they keep calling instead of raising? I get the other players to lower their guard. They always make sure to never be caught in the crossfire. If they find themselves becoming the center of attention, they'll keep flitting away until they can scoop in and reap the soils of whatever hard-fought battles. They may get results, but it's a sneaky, underhanded way to play, if you ask me. You don't like the underhanded stuff, do you? I might not have much of a leg to stand on after losing so terribly, but it felt like I was playing all more than a person. Still, I have to wonder if they actually enjoy winning with tactics like that. Hmm? Oh, so we didn't know you were here, too. This should be a perfect opportunity to show you what, where you're capable of when it comes to contests of diplomacy. So impressed by what a good poker player you turned out to be, Mothman. I never would have guessed it. Well, there was a time when numerous warlords can be different power, even in our Lost Belt. We must have spent hundreds of years practicing diplomatic negotiations without taking military measures. The only real difference with poker is that we merely need to read our opponent's expressions as opposed to the state of their nations. If we had known we could forgo standing ambassadors and conducting ceremonies in favor of having all the nation's heads on the state come together to try and obtain their fellow nation's coffers by pitting their wits against one another in this manner, we could have put an end to war long ago. If only were that simple. Viva Las Vegas Casino is truly a wonderful system of diplomacy. Yeah, if only it worked that way, man. 
And with all these heads of state competing for finances like this, we are bound to win thanks to centuries of experience. Perhaps we should take this opportunity to rebuild our empire once we have bankrupted their nations. I don't think any of the people playing here are heads of any nations. Of course, this is Las Vegas. I expect you could find one or two members of royalty somewhere if you looked hard enough. What did you say? Um, why does he look so upset all of a sudden? What do we say? Hold it, hold it, hold everything. Are you telling me these are not statements? They're actually ordinary people. That these people trading vast sums of money while going about just ostentatious clothing are citizens. They sure are. They're all regular people dreaming of one chip that'll turn their lives around. Whatever their normal lives are like tonight, they can all act like kings. That's the beauty of gambling. Inconceivable. We will admit we did find it odd that these numbers of royalty seem so lacking in regality. But since no ordinary person could hope to compare to a Zen Ren like herself, we thought nothing more of it. We also did not think it odd that these fellow rulers were wagering such small amounts. But if one of those funds came from personal property rather than their nation's coffers, that still makes this all the more inconceivable. The amount of money these citizens lost in a single round would surely be enough to change the course of their lives. Ah, uh, now I get it. You never realized this was all for amusement. No wonder you kept playing it so damn safe. Of course we did. How many mouths could we have won with? How many mouths... Could the money we won have fed tonight? How many newborns could have raised into adulthood? And you tell us that ordinary citizens are competing for such life-changing sums of money for pleasure. That these casinos blinded these normal people by dressing them up and treating them as royalty in order to drive them to bankruptcy. It's wonderful that you're so concerned about their livelihoods, but... Yeah, that's, that's a fair point. It's been a long time indeed since we were this furious. That does it. We must use this anger to demonstrate what happens when the Heavenly Emperor is crossed. We must fight and to utterly destroy the state of affairs with all of our might. Two automatons. What the hell are these things? Go on, soldiers. Raise all of Las Vegas to the ground. Wait, what about all the customers here? Looks like they won't listen to reason unless we knock some sense into them. Easy enough. Easy enough. For a man that is also a moth, we merely need bring the fire. So in other words, we look for a Scotty. No bonuses. This Scotty will do. And we go with the classically classic call of Double Scotty Dante's. Because it is an utter classic. Um, you know, I think I will keep Midsummer Memories on, just for the extra damage that we can generate from it. And this does seem to drop some five-star currency, so we will throw on that one if I can find it easy enough. There it is. And this is not needed, so we can throw upon Gil the money. Even though the OQP is dropping. Or Bond. Bonding is probably better. Alright. Let's see here. Double Scotty Dante's. Let's go. Let's rinse this. Should be easy enough. The main issue is going to be getting more dancing coin drops. The Mothman cometh. The Mothman cometh. The Mothman will fall. The Mothman will fall. Na 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 Mothman! Eh, get some stars, why not? Can never go wrong with a little bit of extra stars in the bank. And... Smash! Just so we get the buster benefits from that last arts card there. If it matters, it may not. It definitely will not matter. Oh, Dante's, you monster. Oh, God, Dante's just completely and utterly rinsed him. That's another quest done. Yay! That was so hard. I'm, I'm sweating here, man. I'm, I'm sweating. I understand how you feel very well, and you have every right to be angry, but please you need to calm down. Besides, you don't need to destroy anything. This will all go away once we get rid of the singularity. What was that? This is a singularity? 
Huh. Why did you not say so sooner, you silly girl? We were all worked up for nothing. You really had no idea. Most servants figured it out when they reshift. Hmm. Compared to our perfect eternal empire, proper human history is so utterly weird with oddities. We can hardly be expected to know what passes for normal here when, from what is strange. Nonetheless, it is reassuring to know that this den of wickedness will be wiped clean off the map. We take it you already know what must be done to repair the singularity. Yes, it's kind of a long story, but... Womp, 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 womp. Mm, sore beauties, eh? We see. This is all quite confusing, but we understand that we are better off keeping our hands clean of them. Very well, then. We will return to Caldea and leave you to, get to it. Good luck. And here I thought they might actually want to help, silly me. That is a grand and glorious task for scoring all of humani humanity. Though it must be rather difficult for you to always be the one cleaning up other strange messes. Should you ever tire of it, feel free to let us know, and we will gladly take the opportunity to begin rebuilding our eternal empire in earnest. Glad that's over with. I have to ask, though, why did you tell them there are casinos in proper human history as well? Yeah, that's something we definitely want to save for another discussion. Okay, we can tell him about the casinos once we've finished taking care of the singularity. I'll tell Mothman later. Just push the thing to later. Alright. Quartz. And that's that. Next it wants the big Ferris wheel, but that quest is not yet available to us. Finally, all the fever quests are available. Good gracious. Um, so next is at Gildalay Hotel. Extra one of two. No, wait. Okay. So I definitely need to, I think, get the dancing coins one. Yes, I think I do. Okay, so... Do I? It says extra 9.1 at the Gildalay Hotel. An assassin and berserker enemy. So that must be this one. Because I saw the berserker tag. Oh, I completely skipped one of the casinos. That's my bad. Well, this is just, um... Jekyll and Ezo. So again, a nice and easy one. You could probably even melt them, quite literally. Anyone? Hello, hello, hello. Yes, my lord. Fumiko Turo at your service. You've changed. What's going on? You playing Samurai Lord or something? Yes, you got us. It's so much fun we can help ourselves. All quests are active time to degen. What do you mean? Huh? You changed back to your regular outfit, Kotaro. Oh yes, I was wearing the other one so much that it was starting to get a little worn out. I'm sorry to say goodbye to it, but I was going to have it when summer ended anyway. At any rate, what did you need help with, Master? Shopping trip! Very well. So that's two quests currently that I'm not able to obtain. Ah! You chose some excellent souvenirs, Master. Casino for fever tickets, yep. So, that's now until degeneration. Until the end. Okay, good. So that's plenty of QP to be had. I'm sure Lady Da Vinci and Lord Gordolf will be thrilled. Do you happen to know, Deonte, if the maximum broken of the Demonic Sun Princess CE will give a 100% chance for the Dancing Coins thing? Kemeji Casino! So it is. That is like the casino Lady Okusaka Bihime used to run, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Same master. Why don't you stop by there? Only if we have time, of course. I know we've forgotten the casinos before when we were trying to repair the singularity. But now that we don't have to worry about that, I thought you might like getting to enjoy one normally. You want to go, Kotaro? Well, I won't deny I have some interest, too. At any rate, I'd take it that as a yes. Let's go. At the very top. Meh. Yeah. Why are these two fighting? Oh, they're still fighting, rather. I'm taking breaks here and there. All right, this is going to be one that clinches it. Perhaps it would be best if we let them be. Hmm, I guess it comes as no surprise, but Magic Casino certainly does have many Japanese games of chance. Just in this room, I can see people playing Hanafuda, Tachinobi, Chohan, Bakuichi. This could be a fun change of pace from slot machines and roulettes. I don't know. I like slot machines. I very much prefer slot machines. Good idea, Master. Chohan is your classic, easy-to-learn, difficult-to-master kind of game. Similar to odds and even, but... Played with dice and a dealer. I played my share of it before, so I think I can teach you a few tricks too. Oh, some, some, some tricks. I see the ninja tricks. Cho, Cho, 
Are those your final bets? All right, all the dice have been cast. And reveal. Hey, we get Donzo. 3-4 Han or odds? I repeat, it's 3-4 Han. You're kidding me. Putting aside the question of why Moth I mean Lady Donzo is handling the dice, it seems Hyde and Izo are, well, out of their league. Indeed. Right, any chance they might have had winning is long gone. As they say in Osaka, they've done dug themselves deep. I strongly recommend you only but when you can afford to lose, Master. All that aside... Yes. 4-6 Joe or evens? 1-6 Han. Double six Joe. No. Oh my, it sounds like they've taken a noble phantasm to the face. The poor men. No, let's not stop them. Let's let's watch Donzo rip them apart more. Donzo is definitely in the B tier as well. Yes, perhaps you're right. I don't really prefer to stay out of other servants' affairs, but I'm sure they would prefer this to losing all of their money. Excuse me, Lord Izo, Lord Hyde. I think you should call it a day, and... Hell no, I feel it. We're on the brink of a comeback. Narrator, they are not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Since we just lost the last turn, we're definitely winning the next turn. Narrator, utter nonsense. Right, we're just getting started. They're just digging themselves in deeper. They're not listening to reason. Pull out our last resort and kick their butts. Yes, Master, violence it is. Ah, uh, violence. The answer to so many things. Alright. And we could bring it around Kotaro. We could. Or. We could bring around Scotty. Because like I said, I'm tryharding this. I literally do not have the time to be faffing around here. And actually, I feel like we might be fine with Dante's. But I'm going to be safe. And bring in... Somebody that's a little bit more likely to get some kills here. I thought about Melt, but really I should keep with the AoE and bring Zerkerlot along, you know? It just makes sense. Zerkerlot will serve this well. Ooh, that's my arm. That hurts a little bit. Just a little bit. Fatal battle. Just these two. This'll be cake. Hey, well done, Destructive. Well done. Congrats on the A's. I have not checked what I got last semester. I should probably find out what exactly I got last semester. And I should probably sign up for the fall semester. I've got five days to do it, but you know... Maybe I shouldn't be putting this off as long as I have been. But how be things destructive? How be things? Oh, nice! Well done, well done. Uh, that is the plan, Wobble Fett. That is the plan. The plan is for a Minecraft stream tomorrow. I just need to, um... Burst through all of this. Good job, Lancelot. Good job. I think Zerkerlot will handle the next quest as well. Hey, he's Bond 3 now. And we've unlocked an interlude for him. I didn't know he had an interlude. Whoops. <laughs> oh, what does that interlude do for him? I wonder how much better it makes him. Uh, Fate Grand Order fandom. Um, right now, I am currently just taking some courses... I am looking to get into a radiology program. Oh, wait, it goes to Himeshi. I am looking to get into a radiology program. However, it requires me to have um, had taken a chemistry, biology, and algebra course within the past seven years and passed them with a B. It's been more than seven years since I last took said courses, so I've been getting them knocked out. All I have left is chemistry, and then I will be good to go. And I can start applying for radiology school. Security, would you escort these two out, please? Yes, ma'am. I'm not crying. I'm just sweating for my tear ducts. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That can't be right. What do you want, Jekyll? Speak up. What was that? It's obvious that Master is right and you're wrong. Shut up. I'm going to win the next round. Just watch me. It's 50-50 odds, right? I'm bound to win eventually. Huh? 
those poor two. Yep, I. Those were fairly easy enough, um, especially the bio course. It's more the chemistry that I'm worried about because it's all online is the thing, you know? So it's kind of like. It's a little bit iffy. You know? It, can, it feels a little iffy just with it all being online. What a sad turn of events. On a different subject, Lady Donza, why are you handling the dice here? Because I'm working part time here. I, um. Well, let me just say, I have a variety of expenses. At any rate, please do not worry about me. We ninja are accustomed to mercenary work as dagger is to a sheath. You have a shop and have two rats already. Nice. I see. Since you're here now, would you and Master like to play around, Lord Kotaro? She looks tough. Gladly. Okay, Kotaro. I expect this will be less of a game of chance and more like a contest of skill. But in that case, I am very confident in our odds. This is sort of the skills right in my wheelhouse, as they say. Uh, no. Ochem screwed over my original degree plan as well. It seems like it can be any level of chemistry, so I'm just going to take general chemistry. Um, mainly because the... Um, I feel like I'll have a good chance to get um, into radiology, just because I've been licensed to take x-rays for the past four years, and I actually have to renew that license as well. So I feel like that will definitely give me a leg up on other people when applying for this college. I knew the fifth head of the clan would be up for the challenge. Very well, then. Let the Chow Ham battle begin. Now! It's going to be an early day stream. Well, if I, it'll be early day stream. But yep. Uh, I d I, so I need to... Let me think. So my current agenda for this week is I need to register for the fall semester... I need to request the materials so I can begin the process of renewing my license for another two years. And I need to register for my 10-year high school reunion, because that is next month. Yeah. 10-year high school reunion coming up. Again, another reason to make me feel old. Thank you for that vote of confidence, Destructive. Thank you kindly for that. Why do I have to find a new nether fortress, Wobbuffet? Well, what did you do to it? What did you do to the original nether fortress? Yeah, and actually, let me see if I can't get up that plan of study. Let's see here. Three years older than you? Probably a little older, actually. I did start, like, graded school a year before I was supposed to, so... Yeah, I did get a little bit of an early start with school. I started kindergarten at the age of four. Mainly because I have a fall birthday, so... Yeah, how was that battle there, gambling? Han. 5-6 Han. That was a close one. Yes, it was. Well played, Lord Kotaro. Now then, I'm afraid I must be going. Thank you for the game. Hmm? I must be going then. Thank goodness you mentioned win there. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I was just wondering why Lady Danza left so suddenly after our game. I can only imagine she was working there because she wanted money. But we should know we don't require money to get by, so I don't understand what she would need it for. Master Lord Kotaro. Hmm? I almost lost you. Could, you. could I ask you to spare a little time? What is it, Lady Donzo? Did our victory get you in trouble with the casino? No, I already quit my job there. Now I have all the money I need. Class of 21-22. Very nice, Swab Effect. Very nice. You'll be in for a whole new world after that. Although, your school semester has to be starting soon, doesn't it? Or do you start in September? Do you start school in September or in August? Oh, well. You've both been so kind to me since I came to college day. I wanted to give you a present as a token of my appreciation. So I was working short-term, part-time jobs to save up the money for the gifts I had in mind. Aww, she gave us gifts. Now, I see. Why am I... Oh, is it because of your vacation you might not be there for the first week? Here, Master, this is for you. And this one is for you, Lord Kotaro. That's a new summer outfit. Yes, exactly. I've heard that you had put your new outfit away, even though it suited you so well. 
So I thought that knowing the head of the, the head of the Puma clan, you must have been declining to wear it so as not embarrass your master. I'm sure you thought that if you were going to stand by his side, you would need to look your very best, and you could felt you could do that with your outfit showing wear and tear. Aw. Hope I'm not being too presumptuous. Aw, she's such a good mom to Kotaro. Not at all. I was just thinking you could have do this all this for me, that's all. Ah, caution, quarantine, because you're going to be on vacation. Nice. I see what this is about. Yes, that is true. Uh, don't get sunburned, man. Master, if it please you, would you be all right to learn Kodoro to change into it now? Go ahead. All right, if that's what you want, Master. Pardon me, I'll be right back. Yep, leave me with Donzo here. I'm sure, yep, I'm sure that me and Donzo will still be here when you be get back, Kodoro. <laughs> yes, I'm totally not going to go and take Donzo away for anything else. <clears throat> totally not going to do that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank you, Master. Lord Coder has always been, well, let's say he can be too humble for his own good at times. A little bit. That may be how a ninja should conduct herself, but I can't but find it lonesome. I think he has every right to express his desire more openly like most children. Although, of course, I know he has grown into a fine young man. Perhaps my tendency to train him as a child like Texas at times is a sign there's something defective with me. I mean, you know, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you're working perfectly, Donzo, but we can give you a thorough examination if you'd like, you know. We can give you a thorough examination. Thank you, Master. And yeah, it's only for a moment. I hope you can forget about the pressure that comes with being the head of the Fuma Clan and just enjoy a summer vacation. I would very much like a summer, Donzo. I would not mind that at all. I would very much like it. Alright, Master, as you requested, I will continue to wear this outfit for a while. Seize the summer! Yes, Master. As the head of the Fuma Clan, I, Fuma Kotaro, vow to truly put my heart and soul into enjoying the summer vacation. Although, theoretically, we should be getting Summer Arresh this year, you know? Just based on the various signs that people have been reading. Something to do with her getting an interlude strengthening or something. Much like, um... Some other servant from last year that did. I can't remember who, though. And a T.O.B. And a Seashell. And a Deadly Poisonous Needle. That was a lot of stuff. Alright, so then the next thing we want to do is the illegal casino here. The swimsuit Shinsengumi is against Nobu. Easy enough fight here. Six hour trip. Are you going by car or by like plane or something? You're investigating this illegal casino. And that's right, the swimsuit Lion King entrusted me with this apprehending the people running it. But this place is just too big for me to investigate all on my own. Six hour car trips, they are tough, man. They are tough. I wish you luck. So I decided to form a new temporary Shinsugumi division just for Vegas. The swimsuit Chingumi. The swimsuit Igumi. And I was hoping you two could help me find some swimsuit soldiers to join it. Well, I can't see. I see because I don't. But alright, we can help with that. Yeah, however come you are here, Hijikata? Wherever the Shinsen we go, I go. Some suits notwithstanding. You can just ignore the vice commander there. Even more, even that's more than he deserves. Anyway, I figured soldiers and some suits would throw the enemy off guard, so that alone should make it worthwhile. So how about it? Would you be willing to help us out as honorary some suit gumi members? Uh, alright. This is a little embarrassing, but... Match Carolite reporting for duty as honorary member of the swimsuit Agumi. Great, thank you. All right, let's get started with our first order of business: interviewing applicants. <laughs> interviewing applicants. If it's a six, if it's during the night, you can just plug in your headphones and listen to music while you look at the stars. If, if I ever have to take a six-hour drive at night, I'm always asleep if I'm not driving. And I've taken more than my fair share of longer than six-hour car rides. Applicant number one shows the greatest talents. I can tell exactly, and I do mean exactly, when someone is lying. Certain lie detector, huh? That'll be perfect for an inspector. I'm just gonna ignore how scary your eyes are and say you're hired. Oh jeez. QMA's on the squad. Server Mo. Mordred, I'm really good at treachery and shit. <laughs> oh, if you need someone to fire off their noble phantasm several times in a row, just call me. Oh, the memes. They know what they're doing. I don't know about the treachery part, but being able to use your noble phantasm multiple times would be great while on our patrol. You're hired. They know what they were doing with that line. 
I am very good at sniping. You're hired. <laughs> I haven't even told you my talent. Sorry about that, Vice Commander. He has a real uh, heart, um, soft spot for women like Anne. So, we know what uh, Hijikata likes. He likes some busty. I've always wanted to try being an undercover agent. It sounds like so much fun, so please let me join you. Well, I don't know about it being fun, but you do seem like you'd fit right in with Las Vegas' rich socialite atmosphere. Okay, you're hired. You threw up in the middle of a restaurant because of a cramped bus. Ew. That sounds like terrible. It always sucks to vomit. Okay, everyone, this is what you've been training for. Get to it. Right. What what kind of training montage did they do that quickly? Not even that occurs that some suit Lion King would suspect I failed to learn my lesson from last time. And I'm growing rich running another underground casino in a separate spear origin, even as we speak. You're right, small sister. Everyone knows you never learn a thing. <laughs> Don't call me small sister. I mean, I know the other version of me is a lot bigger in more ways than one, but... Wow. Wow. Well, why is the alarm going off? How'd you know I was cheating? You can't lie to me. Now hurry up and hand over my dear Anchin. Who the hell's Anchin? Floaties are the best part of summer. Sit in it and relax. I don't know. I think that um, cool ice cream on a hot summer day is one of the best parts of summer. Why is the water spilling over the pool? Hoo hoo! Out of my way! What was my tell again? Sue Sue Soldier of Treachery, and we make movie for Morge of the Magnificent. You've been stooping around in places you don't belong, Brad. I hope you're ready to face the consequences. Maybe a little more to the right. Yeah, that's it. Go for it, Don. Well, what are you talking about? Ugh! Did she just snipe a man to death? That's one down. She killed a man. Those two are merciless. Come on, just look at all these pretty metal shooting out of my, this fancy machine. What, the Theodza slot machine getting triple sevens are should be slumber than getting struck by a meteor on a rolling str on a morning stroll. This is completely impossible. Oh my, I got all sevens again. Now what am I going to do? I don't think I can carry this many medals on my own. Good lord, give me your freaking luck there, Marie. I want that kind of luck the next time I go to the casino. This can't be happening. See a shadow under you, you know your soul's leaving your body. Why do you say that? Not so much for this place, I'm out of here. I don't think so. Who are you? I'm Okita Soji, captain of the Kasumi's Kisum first unit. And I'm Mash Carly, honorary Sumsu Kumi soldier. Crap, I should have known you were behind this, though I'm surprised to see you mix it up too, Matt. And this too, Mash. Wait, what's that jersey? Is it, or is it a kimono? That's how that combines the casualness of a jersey with the stealthiness of a black and white Hiori. It's Sumsu Kumi's brand new uniform, the Jory. Yeah, I don't really see how it's a big the jetpack and stuff could go possibly go together. You'd be surprised, Nobu. You'd be surprised. At any rate, we can no longer overlook this underground casino's numerous infractions. And don't think you can get out of this with your usual guda guda nonsense. This outfit means I'm dead serious. Though I guess I have no choice but to fight. Really, this is what our destinies were always leading up to. But did you forget, Okida? A saber like you is going to have a hard time against an archer like... Aha! You finally figured out, Nobu? That's right. My swimsuit can be spirit origin is an assassin. So you can catch that strong against saber's disadvantage you thought you had goodbye. But you can't have it one yet. I also know that assassin's going to be kind of weak. I think that's enough meta talk for now. <laughs> But what if it's your own shadow? Or what if it's Leviathan's shadow? Leviathan coming to greet you. Not this Leviathan. Definitely not this Leviathan, but you know, just Leviathan. Also, um, yeah, I think speaking of Leviathan, we can go in it with this sort of setup here. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see, let's see. We want waiver there. Melt there. Transfer that over to that. What's that? Oh! From Critical Role. Legends of Vox Machina. Sweet. I'm glad that came. Thank you for bringing that down for me. Sorry, I just got a package in. Alright, uh, so let's see here. I was going to drop this and throw Waver CE on himself, not on Scotty. And this will be the squad. This will should work fine. 
Leviathan can visit you in your dreams. And actually... Mm, yeah, this will be fine. What do you mean by a room tour? Because, I mean, there's not really much of this room to see. I still have parts to clear out so I can make way for my uh, VR headset, but... Yeah, there's not really much to see. It's a small room. Oh, she's got guts. Fantastic. Three guts. Annoying. To a very, very high de degree. Alright. I mean, like I said, there's not really much of a room to tour is the issue. You can... I'm pretty sure you can see the back wall of the room. Yeah, you can see the back wall of the room in my webcam. <laughs> and I don't think I need to change it to this field yet. Actually, doesn't her NP do more in that field? Remove evade status. Eh, nope, doesn't really. So let us go with this attack order. A little bit of one. It is a little bit of one. But yeah, um, going back to my radiology thing. I don't have any other chemistry comp. Any other chemistry courses outside of what is initially needed. So, you know. I really don't know why I need to see chemistry. But I gotta take it, so, you know. Alright. One HP guts. So, so dangerous this is. If only I... Didn't have envy. Oh, oh, Lambda. Lambda, darling. Doot, doot, doot. Hey, J6, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How be things? How be things? Finish this, Lambda. And there we go. Another battle complete. Ah, you've been here since before the fight. Okay. And that's 120 demonic enemies completed. I didn't even realize I still had that mission to go. <laughs> Oops. But that did unlock another one. Alright, so I still have to unlock the Ferris wheel and the extra resort, the ho resort hotel. Nobunaga was arrested serving a life sentence. Poor Nobu. What do you need to check, J6? The story of when I was arrested quickly spread throughout Las Vegas. Before long, everyone had heard of the swimsuit gumi. But the swimsuit gumi's challenges were far from over. For just as Las Vegas light shine brightly, so too do the shadows hide all matter of evil. Can do, can do. You'll have to give me a minute. Fight on, swimsuit gumi. Fight on, indeed. Alright, we did get... Oh, I guess it's not done yet. Some Tsukumi is being disbanded. But why? Everyone in Vegas is still talking about us. Yes, well, between every casino we investigate being burned to the ground or flooded from poolside noble phantasms. Or being shaken down by pirates worse than any gang or bankrupted by an unwilling, unwitting socialite. I'm afraid not everything they say about the Tsukumi Tsukumi has been positive. In fact, there have been so many... Ver vociferous complaints leveled against us that the swimsuit Lion King yourself came to our headquarters to tell us she would no longer be paying for our expenses. You're kidding me. So that was what the swimsuit Lion King. Now that's my kind of woman. Are you talking about the tree that's on my property, Waba Fett? I was wondering why there was half of a tree. Also, I completely missed what O'Keefe said there. Will you shut up already? Oh, I didn't realize this was high up. Okay, so the ones that he was going to be removing anyways. Gotcha. Got a quartz. Alright. And this is the map, J6. This is the map. No, he, he's talking about one of the ones on my property that you turned the grass into pods all on. Alright, let us claim this one. And it unlocked the Ferris wheel. Awesome, that's one of the ones I needed to do. So to the Ferris wheel we go. The skyscraper is Sakura Pink. So then, Resort Hotel needs the dancing coins done. So I can't do that just yet. 
which means the next thing we want to do is the underground part one of the guild delay. No, he's talking about the spruce. Um, he's talking about the spruce trees on my property. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's... Shinsen Gumi Woman. It's raining Shinsen Gumi. Oh, hello, Master. We were just asking Shinsen Gumi Woman to take us on a skywalk. Can you fly us higher than a Ferris wheel? Or me when I'm really big? Of course, skywalks are a piece of cake for my Jet Ten and Rin Shin Ryu. Besides, playing with children always brings back fond memories of my time in Mibu. I just play with the children all the t there all the time, too. It's wonderful to see Jack Bunyan and Nursery Rhyme enjoying themselves. I like I like reading the story ones, though. I do like them. It gives more characterization all around. Say, since you're here, too, and all, would you like me to take you on a skywalk, too, Master? Yeah, how fast can you go? Well, I've never tracked it, but I'm pretty sure all those sonic booms mean I'm breaking the sound barrier. Now, let's go. This, I, I'm not gonna lie, I would love to be on a jetpack ride like this. M full burst drive. Okay, the J Soji of Jet Ten Rinchin Ryu taking off. That would be so fun and terrifying. Just be master going to go as fast as my limiters are allow. Let's go higher, faster, further, quicker to the great blue sky and beyond. Yeah, G force is intense. You can drop food and you can cook it with your spells. Nice. Simplify, please be careful. Is she going to take us to space by accident, I wonder? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Have you come to Master? Oh, I passed out! Gracious. Your magical food shop. Oh, no. We're on top of the Las Vegas... Oh, I thought we were in the sky and she just lost her freaking jetpack and we were about to plummet. I know we've done a lot of free falling, but that would be ridiculous. We're on top of the Las Vegas Tower. Sorry, Master. I guess I got carried away. That's okay, that was fun. It would be so fun. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for understanding. Da 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 da. Master, there's something I've been wanting to say to you. Would it be alright if I told you now? Sure. Da 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 da. I'm grateful to you, Master. As a heroic spirit, I used to be full of regrets, but then you summoned me to Chaldea. And I got to fulfill the wishes I had wasted away. To continue to wield my sword. The wish I had wasted away. To continue to wield my sword for a trusted leader. I even got to see Mr. Hijikata again. Dun, dun, dun. But sometimes I still can't help but think that, well, I'm sure Mr. Hijikata doesn't mind, since that's just the kind of person he is, but... Would Mr. Kondo and the other Shinsengumi soldiers think if they saw me now? Dun, dun, dun. I'm sorry, you probably have no idea what th where this is coming from, huh? Maybe finally getting the swimsuit I've always wanted got me so worked up that I caught a fever or something. Aw, so she's concerned about what her former comrades would think of her, now that she's finally letting her hair down and being happy that's you know that's that's a legitimate concern it is a legitimate concern but i'm sure they would be fine they'd be happy that you're happy okitan and edgy cat is at a nine you're still you you're still you okita gotta say her name driving that impact master yeah i'm still me aren't i that, that, that. Alright, what do you say we head back now? Besides, I'm sure Mash and the others are wondering where you are, and now it's kind of late now that it's kind of late. Heading back sounds great. Possibly. Oh, edgy dad. Otosama edgy dad. Gotcha. I was confused there for a moment. But 24. As soon as I figure out how much it's gonna take for um Kiritsugu, if I have enough, he is probably gonna be leveled up quite quickly there. So you should probably consider who you want to be the next one in Q, J6. Okay, then make sure you hold on to me tight. And I mean really tight. I have not... Have I put the Summer Lion King in here yet? I don't remember. I don't think I've put the Summer Lion King in yet. Or... Um... Yeah, I have not yet put the Summer Lion King or... Summer Okita. I've got to make sure to add those two to this. I've got to make sure I add those two. Uh, we had some sort of mission progress that I was not paying the, the lick of attention to. Back to the Gildalay Hotel. Underground Sword Beauties Match Glasses number one. 
Only the selected support servant can participate in this battle. Experience, battle drops, and friend points can be claimed, but blonde points will not be rewarded. Hmm. Might sell seeds there, too. Interesting. Oh, by the way, J6, are you going to be hopping on the server tomorrow? Because... I think that um, we might be at the last opportunity for us to do a true fight against one another without either of us having an innate advantage. Because if I am reading this correctly, the second I attune myself to the stars, I'm going to get a lot of passive buffs that I cannot remove. You know, this has been nagging me for a while. I'm not saying did you do anything. I'm asking if you're going to be on the server so that we can have that fight you kept asking for that pvp battle against one another where if we had the same equipment we would see who's the better pvp -er. what is it master is there something on my face or on my back oh also i do have diamonds to pay you both back like i told wabafet i have a stack of diamond ore now and if you give me some time i can quintuple diamond ore yeah i figured that out it'll take some time but It'll be possible. Something on my face or on my back. Um, for now, you can kill me with one shot, Wobbuffet. For now. Wouldn't be the latter be a fatal injury for you, Lord Siegfried? Hmm, good point. Does Siegfried ever hang out with Sigurd? That is an excellent question, actually. I see, of course. We may have both be dragon slayers, but we wield our swords very differently. I learn a lot from talking to him. I never would have thought to cast my sword about like his like the wind. His cape is spectacular too. It even conceals his back. Not to mention that our legends have a lot in common. What do you say, well, Do you want to do something like that tomorrow in stream for fun? Iron armor, sword, shield, and axe free for all. I don't think it's a matter of which of them is right or wrong. My guess is that they're both right. Just as I succeeded at slaying the evil dragon Fafnir, so too did Sigurd save the same dragon. Of course, the Brynhild I knew was not a Valkyrie. And similarly, Lord Sigurd has never heard of my beloved Krimhild. It could be that your legends were conflated, or they diverged at some point. Nope, just a straight mano a mano, you know, no magic. No magic fight, just vanilla. A straight up vanilla battle. Just for fun, since this is since J6 has been keep saying that he can we can prove this we who's the better PvP -er, you know. Either way, neither I nor Lord Sigurd pay much heed to our past legends. All we care about is fighting today to secure a future for humanity of tomorrow. For that is our greatest joy. I get it. May I ask who's calling? Ah, it's Charlotte Corderay, the concierge. Technically, I think. Past few weeks have been hectic for you. Oh, hopefully, you know, things calm down, man. Hopefully things calm down. Also, if you ever have the inventory disappearing glitch again, I have found out how to fix that. I have. Thank goodness for that. But yeah, she's, I mean, she's a cutie. She's a friend point servant, but this is, you know, meh. She hasn't really had much to do other than being the con the concierge at this hotel, so... Eh. She must just be, like, the occasional event showing up kind. Um, it has to do with config files. Huh. Oh, whoops. I misspoke. This... It's the concierge. I have to go into the config of the world itself to restore a previous version of you. Unfortunately, I can't do that now. I unfortunately can't do that. It has been too long. Too long of time has passed. Unfortunately, J6... I only just started looking into it yesterday, and I found this out, so I do apologize that I could not, you know, go back in time that well. The only way I could do it is by restoring the whole server to about a month ago, and that would not be fair overall. Heck, I don't think you even had your backpack a month ago, so... It's concierge. If you can give me a list of the stuff you had, I will do my best to recompense. You've got a letter. Oh, thank you. Let's see. It looks like an invitation. For a battle to determine the best glasses-wearing servant of all time. <gasps> the best glassing... The best glasses. Do you love glasses? As we all know, glasses aren't just for correcting eyesight. 
Nowadays, glasses almost so symbolize knowledge, intelligence, and beauty. That's the thing, though, is a month ago, he had even less stuff. He hadn't even crafted the stuff that he lost due to the glitch a month ago is the only issue. So that's the, that's the problem. And, I mean, I can make a meteor compass at this point, Wobbuffet, so not really. I do have to make a computer eventually, but, yeah. Um, go, I guess, J6, look through a stream, a recent stream, if you went through your backpack of it. And see if you can find. Well, I get the sense that even I may have worn glasses at one point or another. And really, what more needs to be said? Likewise, I'm also a goddess who may or may not have worn glasses at some point. Now, let's give it up for our hand-picked crop of servants with glasses. You made a meteor compass for me. Nice. Thank you. I can definitely use that. For those wondering about Yume Rin or the Great Stone Statue God, both of them declined to participate. I guess they just couldn't be bothered to help liven things up. Honestly, there's nothing worse than a selfish brat who only thinks about herself. She somehow said that without a hint of irony. I said I could join too, Senpai, but they say I couldn't because I never wore my glasses in battle. Aww. Hmm. Mashu wearing her glasses in that outfit. It'd be an interesting look. It'd be a nice, nice little change. I guess there's only one thing left to do. Have a pair of glasses made that I can wear during combat. Do it. Alright. Get some nice rest there, Wobbuffet, and I will see you tomorrow. Isn't like the textbook definition of putting a cart before the horse? Alright, glass servants, it's time to find out which one of you is worthy to be the king or queen of glasses. First aid varies from place to place. It depends on what kind of first aid you need to perform, man. The rules are simple. You'll all be complete against, compete against yourselves to see which of the best embodies the smart, strength, and luck inherent to glasses wearers everywhere. Wait, glasses wear people? <clears throat> Excuse me. People that wear glasses are lucky? Interesting. We'll start by splitting into groups A and group B for the preliminaries. You need a custom one with a picture. Uh, you have to wait. You have to take a first aid lesson? Wait, well, but do you need to take a first aid lesson to get a driver's license? That's not something we have to do here in America. In the last effort standing after the finals, we crown the king or queen of glasses. Lord Siegfried. Lord Sigurd, I'm surprised to see you taking part in a frivolous event like this. Not as surprised I am to see you doing the same. Oh, well, I expect that's because of this outfit I'm currently wearing. Perhaps my heart has grown lighter thanks to being thanks to my part in being the swimsuit swordmaster. Well, good luck, Wolfet. Good luck. And, um, I would have to get an image, and I would have to cordon off an area of the map. And I would have to get really good at pixel art, J6, and then I could possibly do it. Perhaps my heart has grown lighter thanks to being a swimsuit swordmaster. Or, in my case, a spectacled swordmaster. It's completely forgetting about swimsuits at this point. It would seem we've been placed in different groups. I trust we are like mind. Of course, I will see you again in the finals. So I don't know how their glasses spark like that, but I can't deny it makes them look even cooler. Yeah, sometimes that's just how glasses work, except for my glasses. Oh, wow! They actually showed us with glasses. You changed your Alice Inf Institute uniform in no time. You've, got such you've grown so much since we first met, Master. But yeah, my real glasses... I don't like wearing them. I'm not going to wear them for long because I have my contacts in, but yeah. I just don't like the look of my face with glasses on. What do you guys think? Do you think that I can pull off glasses well or what? Like I said, I can't wear them right now, but... Fifth question. This is a Q&A portion. Who is the poet who wrote... So this is the... Sumimaru. And your VOD is outdated. Darn. Meow is no one surprised. Purple Shikibo knows her Ogura Haki Hayakunin issue, and with that, she takes the lead by one point. For the record, the full question was, who was the poet who wrote the, this is the place where travelers who come and go meet and parting, whether they are known to be known to each other via Fuka Pass? Whew. All right, which paw Nell would you like to open next? I think I'll go with panel number nine, please. History, huh? Alright, let's see. What's behind panel number 9? 
You have to do the world one is if there is was an accident, leave or go to the side of the road and call an ambulance. I'd say go to the side of the road and call an ambulance. Saddle Golden Hearts Armor, eight skelly skulls, a book you forgot about, an instant spawn carriage. Oh, was that one of the um that's one of the big building things that we were gonna get rid of if I can. The uh, mine colonies. Arrange these three figures in chronological order. Nidacris, Ozzy, and Cleo. That was going to be what I said. That is correct. Way to go. I'm impressed you caught the trick. Question fast enough to buzz in first. Well, it's easy to think otherwise, given the way they usually interact. Nidacris actually predates Ozymandias. And, but Nidacris is vital. Values accomplishments over seniority, which is why she has such high esteem for Ozymandias. Honestly, I was... I didn't think that that way. I don't know why I placed Nidacris as the oldest. I really don't know why. But just something mentally said, you know, okay, so Cleopatra is clearly the oldest, or the youngest of the pharaohs, but what about those two? And it's just sort of like, Ozzy just sort of fit as the middle portion. I don't get it personally. The further back we her experience originate, the more powerful we are, right? So if I were her, I'd be lording it up over any pharaoh that comes after me. But each her experience their own, I guess. Anyway, go ahead and choose the next panel. Alright, you managed to get one point back, but unfortunately... Too bad Sikri didn't do better in the knowledge section. Unlocked out, sadly. Yes, he was up against three casters and a math professor. But at least he should be able to turn things around at the strength section. Alright, it's time for the contest of strength. If you'd all go ahead and draw one of these lots. Lots? Everyone got their partners, right? Good. Remember these are the same partners you'll fight with in the main match. Looks like you're my partner, Master. It's a good thing, because otherwise I would be completely and totally destroyed. Yeah, mouth to mouth is definitely an old, out of date thing, I feel. Of course it is. This is actually another test of mine. This one is designed to see how well you can overcome two on one handicap. After all, we glasses wearers must always aspire to grace, elegance, and intelligence. And since you came in last in knowledge section, Siegfried, you've been settled with the curse. Now get your weapons ready, because it's time for the preliminary battle. Sorry to ask of this of you, Master, but please be ready with a good Mr. Code. I might. Yeah, I mean, all I know is that if I ever I have somebody choking, I know how to intubate somebody, you know, roughly. I've never actually done it, but I roughly know how to intubate somebody. Yeah. Very, very roughly, I know how to intubate somebody. The knowledge is there. The knowledge is there. As is the knowledge of how to amputate somebody's toes. Yeah. Actually, I could probably limit amputate any limb. Probably. I have that knowledge. Okay, so we are up against third and Shikibu. Per the notes here, it says activate golden rule. Do an arts quick arts chain. And then NP. I said probably no how. It's a very complicated process that I can't... It's not something I can really explain. It's just like the practical knowledge of it is up here. Like in an emergency situation, which Lord only knows what kind of emergency situation would call for amputation of a limb. But in an emergency situation, I might be able to pull it off. No, no, no. That's the old school method of amputation. Although, fun fact, amputa it used to be that all surgeries were just amputations. The first surgery was, in fact, amputation. And it was that way for a very long time. A very, very long time. That was the main... Sir, that was the only surgery. Alright, and then this one is pretty much the same thing. As far as, as, far as what to do. The story of the first lobotomy, that would be scary. 
Like, I can't even think of doing a lobotomy on somebody. Just, like, taking away so much of somebody's brain, it's just like... Ugh. We have a winner. Siegfried shrugs off his two against one handicap like it's nothing and moves on to the finals. No wonder he went down on Legend as a hero from ne Nederland. Not at all. I could have done this without Masters. I could never have done this without Masters orders. My orders would be nothing without your power. See, I'm glad to hear that, Master. I guess that means I've been blessed with smart strength and good fortune. The last time the winds of luck blew my way was when I found the ring gold. Perhaps winning this contest will finally let me shake off that this jinx. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. So you bested your group, I expect no less. I was just about to say the same to you. Impressive as always, Lord Sigurd. Oh, my poor back, saw her amusing muscles, he'd forgotten he had. My eyes blend from this play of us bondos. I'd say, I see, so your partner is your master. Mine is, of course, her. The blue eyes, white dragon! Here's to a good match, everyone. Brynhild. My looks, that must be better than I thought for me to draw my beloved Brynhild as my partner. <sighs> eh, they're really shooting off. I see Master and I have our work cut out for us. Da -da 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 -da. The goddess clearly pulled some strings behind the scenes to ensure this contest would take a dramatic turn. Well then, we'll just have to see how this trump card, this trump card match plays out. At long last, the one you've been waiting for, it's going to be the battle between fellow dragon slayers to determine the ultimate king of glasses. Which pair of glasses will have the smarts, the strength, and the luck to come out on top? I said the crowd's all warmed up. Don't be shy, everyone. Keep those bets coming. Sigurd's obviously the clear choice here. Oh, oh, Ishtar. Even if Sigurd does have Master on his side, he can't keep up with Sigurd's smarts. Very well, then I'll make sure to hold nothing back. Glasses gleam! Hmm? What does he mean, hold nothing back? Then let the Battle of the Grains begin! Oh yeah, of course Dracula is not the first. He popularized the myth. The answer is tulips. Oh right, there's a quiz section. I forgot. The answer is Satana Santana. Wind of Liverpool. Wind of Liverpool. Alonso. I don't know how to pronounce that. Alonso Cuxion. Pora Roca. Pora Roca. Looks like your contestants are equally free. Man, I only got as far as on the Amazon River. Huh. Touching his glasses. <laughs> Touching his glasses temples. <laughs> Pushing his glasses up his nose. Definitely more of the push the glasses up the nose kind of man myself. Yeah, Dracula is definitely the most popular of all vampires. Yeah, they're making me feel dumb dumb. Me neither. They're both so fast I couldn't keep up. Even for questions where I knew the answer, they always beat me to the button. Everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses, my love. If these questions have been that required time and deliberation, and you'd have done wonderfully. I do not. But this is a battle of speed above all else. Oh, hang on, does this mean you haven't been using your wisdom rune at all? Hmm? Wouldn't it be cheating if I had? Good point. Oh, did she use it on Sumanai? Did she use some sort of wisdom on Sumanai? Don't worry about it. As long as he wins in the end, that's all that matters. All right, then let's get down to the kind of strength both teams at the ready. Are you ready, Master? Think you can win here, Sumanai? Of course, this is hardly two against one match they think it is. With you on my side, Master, I have no doubt that we could triumph against an entire army. I must say, I feel as though I've also caught the swimsuit Swordmaster bug. No, wait, I understand now. My right, team swimsuit sword master. I don't, I don't follow sports. It's more like a that is, it does look like a dive suit, doesn't it? It really does. But by the way, Boba Fett, didn't you say you needed to get to sleep for your driving test? The more, most important thing is I can swim in it. Now then, shall we, Lord Siegfried? We shall. The winner of this battle shall be the true dragon slayer and true swimsuit sword master. Let's go. Oh, we're actually getting one of these. Some of sword views. Glasses of the Dragon. Jet Siegfried. Versus North Sea Diver, the treasure hunter of love. Sigurd. Prepare yourselves. Fight! But I don't follow sports. Sports is just not something I do, you know? Sports is just not something I do. 
Alright, he's a big boy. But, the guide has provided me knowledge. Golden rule. Arts, quick, arts. And then we NP. And it is all good for me. That is what the guide is telling me to do, so I will follow it through. Is Brynhild not going to actually attack? Because that's kind of funny. Alright. Dragon Slayer activate. And we'll give him a buff too. And start blasting. Go, Sumanai. Go, Sumanai. Go. Oh wow, it didn't do it. The guide lied to me! Why, guide, why? Why did the guide lie to me, people? Does anybody have any idea why? But it's over, regardless. Brynhild does not seem to be attacking, so... Alright. Nope, no Benny in, in this one. One of the three underground sorbies has been defeated. Seven more missions remain. But she did appear on a CE. Benny is on a CE, though, Wabafet. In a swimsuit as well. But see, this is it for me. Uh, Lady Ishtar? Alright, we have a win. Win, 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 win. Can't even finish her sentence, she's so shocked. I can't believe this underdog turned things around at the very end, and I had about two thirds of my fortune on what was meant to be a sure thing. And that's it, I'm done with gambling. From now on, I'm only dealing in futures. If you're looking for a sure thing, something tells me you're meowing up the wrong tree. You're just as formidable as I thought, Lord Sigurd and Lady Brynhild. Your teamwork is truly a sight to behold. The goddess of victory will surely have never favored me if I hadn't had Master on my side. Oh, well, that's not a problem. After all, I already have the goddess of victory right here with me. Aw, oh, the smooth. That is just so smooth of him. Damn, Sigurd. Sigurd and Sigurd, you resemble him a great deal. You're both so very kind. Surely you must have realized that I was unable to release, unleash my noble phantasm as I was too preoccupied with re resisting my urges to love you to death. That is what you think, my love. And I'll say it again, you are only goddess of victory I need. Oh, it's so smooth, Sigurd. God damn, man. So your spear is just as weighty as ever. See, maybe we have won the battle, but I lost the war of love. I lost my own battle impulses. Why? Why did I have to go all uh, two-thirds in? Maybe it's time to accept the mantle of goddess of careless mistakes. No way. I'm not getting up until I've made enough money in Vegas to buy next the new swimsuit for next year. Oh, Ishtar, you're never... Actually, very technically, Ishtar has another swimsuit opportunity with Spishtar. Space Ishtar does have a swimsuit opportunity. Space Ishtar does have swimsuit opportunity written all over her. Oh, I know. I love... Again, I've said it before in previous streams, but I love that um, Sigurd's swimsuit outfit matches Brynhild's summer's Final Ascension. They match so well. It is so good. I'm so happy, and I'm definitely going to be rolling for Brynhild next year. For sure going to be rolling for Brynhild. She is definitely on the two-roll hit list. Alright. So next, it wants us to go to the Rakuichi Casino to do the Underground Sword Beauties match against the Kiddo CEO. Um, I put it in the mining dimension. I don't remember exactly where, though. So, Kid Gil will have two break bars with a lot of HP. So, in this instance, we are going to want to bring along a Memelin. Lambda, while you're good, I need a stun capability here. So, we will do it like this. And where is Enkidu? Where is Enkidu? Where is he? Enkidu, Enkidu, Dandy, 
Okay, so Enkidu here, Lambda can go there just in case, and Scotty there just so we can swap her in. Alright, this should work. Let's go, Enkidu, time to kick the child version of your, breast, your best friend's buttocks. And kick it hard. Woo! Oh wow, there's no introduction to this. It's just straight into the battle. Hey! Myself and Mashu. I like that. I like that it showed us. I like that. Okay, I like that very much. It's not immediately in there. I took it deep in just because I was I didn't want to be um stripping a lot of resources from the overworld anymore. Plus I've currently got it set to be mining dirt. It is currently mining dirt. Because I need a lot of dirt to finish filling in my uh, base. Mm, not the best start here, unfortunately, but we'll make do. Yeah, I set down a waypoint, so even I don't remember where it is off the very top of my head, man. Sorry to say. Alright, and now Supity Swap. Bring in Scotty. Scotty will give me another little boosty. We'll lower Kid Gill's thing there. And we'll gain some stars. We have three turns before we have to NP. We have two turns before we have to NP with which to take down Kid Gill here. I was really hoping to get a freaking Buster card this turn game. Really was hoping. Um, Scotty. Throw that on Enkidu. The Buster card will be next turn. Do it like this. We should get the stun off. Because he does have divinity. Good, we got the stun. That's what I was hoping for. And a fair bit of NP, not a perfect one hundo, but... It's a decent amount. We're about to lose all these stars, though. Should make a casino next. And now we do this. And Kidu gains evasion. And a little bit of a boost. And now he smashes. Come on, no crits, big hits. Ooh, so close. So very close. I feel like a Buster Chain might have been what we needed there. Wow, Waver survived that. That's honestly surprising that he survived. I was expecting Waver to go down there as well, but I'll take it. I will take it. And finish it, Enkidu. Yes, there we go. Another underground challenge complete. We're bursting through these at a decent pace. The only issue is that there's the one that requires me to get more dancing coins dead. That's going to be a pain. Next is Beowulf, which is honestly not going to be an issue. We can just gill him up. Hey, another Demonic Sun Princess. That might be a max limit break at this rate. That might just be a max limit rate. Max limit break. So this is at the underground one at the Himeji. Oh wait, he's a berserker? I thought he was a saber there for a minute. Uh, you know what? We could probably go Abby. Yep. We're gonna go Abby and... I will not transform her into her evil mode, I think. Yeah. Let's not transform her. Uh, go it like this so we get NP off first turn 
Yeah, this should be fine. This should work. The first NP should be easy enough to break through this first break bar, and then the second one should break through the next, plus anything extra. I'm sorry, but you know, I don't, this is all for fun. This is all for fun, so you know, I, I'm sh I'm not gonna go through the effort of making Abby turn into a bad girl again, just for this single fight, only to have her turn back into a good girl, you know? Especially when it's gonna be such a short fight, you know? Plus, I really don't want to traumatize Beowulf. He's a real bro, you know? And, you know, Beowulf's just a bro, so I don't want to traumatize the poor dude. And now we swap out Scotty for Merlin. Waver starts boosting. And mass hysteria. Make him terrified of you, Abby. And we'll throw an illusion just to be safe, you know? Just to be safe. Okay, Abby. Have fun. Big numbers. I like them big numbers, I will not lie. Oh, he ascends. Oh, he got suntanned. Nice. Very nice. And the terror proctored. Very, very nice. Uh, this might actually be game here, considering Abby's got that hundo percent crit. Oh, no, she doesn't. I'm just... I'm seeing things I wish to see, it seems. There we go. Good job, Abby. You get pancakes now. Note to self, make sure to contact Emia to give a Abby some pancakes. It has been noted. Also, Mordred, this is totally not like six hours worth of content that I have to push through. I'm like only five steps off from being done at this point. So I, I knew you were fibbing, man. You almost had me, I will admit. You almost had me. Um, I can also... Let's see, I've got the extra, so let's claim one of these keys. Oh, fair. Fair enough, fair enough. True. True point, true point. And let's claim these foes. So I still have to farm Casino Camelot a little bit. Yep. Alright, so next is the Pharaoh Underground Chamber against Romulus with a break bar. Uh, so a saber class will be fine. So we'll bring in Oi. I think it is only appropriate we bring her in. She gets a damage boost here as well. So, you know, it makes even more sense. Um, I mean, this squad will do perfectly fine, I think, here. So, yeah, let's go. I still have 30 runs to go. Whoa, 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 hold up there. What makes you think I've got 30 runs to go? Oh, I'm not going to do all the fiver tickets on stream, no. Doing all the fiver tickets on stream is insanity, man. I've got this one, then there's Achilles... Emia, I do admittedly need to get the um, extra dancing queen enemies taken down. Ah, that was kind of okay. Fair. 
Yeah, I do need to take out the extra dancing coins so I can take on the resort hotel one. Uh, this is easy enough. So that might take a little bit of time. And then I need J6 to leave for a brief period of time later on. Because I did not realize that was not optional for 100% completion. And I promised him I would not do it in front of him. You know? And do this. And swap in Merlin. Alright, and let's throw an invincibility just to be 1,000% safe. Gather rate. Yeah, this will be fine. J6, it is not optional, and I am a completionist at heart. I promise you I wouldn't do it in front of you. I did, yes. But I cannot do the challenge quests, all the missions, and I can't even do the big QP thing without doing it. So, I need to do it, unfortunately, man. I know I promised I wouldn't in front of you. That's what I'm going to have to ask you when the time comes to just sort of turn away. The Vegas Road leads to Rome? No, it does not. The Vegas Road leads to Vegas. Silly Romulus. Vegas is for Vegasins. That doesn't make sense. Oh, oi. I, I can't do it off stream, because if I do it off stream, then that means you guys aren't going to get to see me do the challenge quest or the big chance missions today. And I really want to do the big chance mission on stream, you know? Because if I don't do it... If I do it on stream and then I flub hard, you guys can make fun of me, you know? What not that worth it for the chance to make fun of me for flubbing hard on the huge big chance quest, you know? Just saying. See, Mordred would make fun of me. Alright, so next is the underground at Requin, which is against Achilles at this point. We are going to bring in a Musashi, because I am not a dum-dum. He has a... He has a evasion, so we want sure hit, which is Musashi. Um... I know somebody had a Musashi with the maximum break of the damage CE on them, but I don't remember who. I'll just keep refreshing here real quickly. That works. And we'll put her in the very front lines. And this should be good to go. Alright. Let's go. Am I not already making fun of me? You are. Fair point. You are making fun of me already, which is fine. I am for being made fun of on this stream. You can send all your negativity at me. Guess from Caldea versus Sonic Doggy Paddle Hunter of the Aegean Sea, Achilles. Sonic Doggy Paddle. Really, Achilles? Really? Okay. I'm making good time, though. I'm making good time. I just need to... It's gonna be those dancing coins that are gonna be the pain. It will be the dancing coins that are the pain. Alright. This is actually a good start to things. Ah, I see. Makes sense, then. Makes sense. Alright, Musashi. Get swapped out. I forgot I don't have a Merlin. Whoopsie. This will... This is fine. This is fine. I'm sure this is fine. Stun him, stun him, stun him! Uh, did, did, did. I, I totally remembered that I didn't have Merlin. <laughs> I totally remembered that I did not bring my Merlin. 
totally remember. I totally remembered I did not bring Merlin. Totally remembered. Supersonic Flutter Kick. Such a manly sound and attack there. Man. So manly. Alright, uh, so yeah. Heavenly Demon's Gaze now. Get that ignore Vince. And... Proct Fifth Zenith, I think. Crit Strength. I don't have any crit cards on Musashi, so go like this. And pray that he does not freaking attack Musashi for critical damage. He invincibles himself as well, because of course he does. I think I have this, though. Go, not my Musashi! Go! Kick Achilles' butt! Also, I like how that evasion procted zero times. Very nice. Alright, alright, alright. Next is Emiya. Next is Emiya. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, everybody. I might get this done in time. I got another lore. Because I don't have enough of those. Sui Tin. So, Emiya, I am going to... Bring in Merlin, and we're going to, you know what, it's Emiya. Let's just bring in Lambda to, uh, to clean his clock. Knock his sock. Drop the mop. Squish him with a rock. Just kill him. Get over the crush that your moon cell version had on Emiya, Lambda. You're mine now. Uh, let's make sure Merlin's here, actually. Good idea, me. Good idea. Yeah, this first bar is easy enough. He just gains attack and defense buffs every turn until he breaks. And on break, he doesn't gain those buffs anymore, so that's good. What is his stage name? I didn't realize they had stage names either. Versus Lifeguard Who Wishes to Remain Anonymous. Dude, you need to at least wear your mask if you don't want people to know who you are. That's, like, so obvious, man. Jeez. Uh, but I am wondering how I'm going to be doing the big chance all in. Because I kind of want to do it with my own squad. But it's a lot. It's a fairly decent variety of enemies with that quest. An Avenger, a Ruler, and an Archer. There's like no good solution as far as who to use for it. I mean, I could just take a Summer Musashi and just Blitz, but I don't know. Something about that just doesn't feel right, I guess. Uh... Yeah, this will be fine. Something about it just doesn't feel right. And I don't think Dante's Double Scotty will be doing me too much good on that either, just because Gorgon's an Avenger. I could go a Lancer, but again... Yeah, even said, I could do... I could do Double Scotty... I could do Double Scotty and um, Zerker Lot. I could do that. Um, mm -hmm. so close to having perfect, but yeah, do it. Melt Envy. I wasn't gonna get there anyways, so now I will get there. Somebody swap, swap the Scotty. Merlin. Give me the last bit she needs to put Emiya in the dirt. And of course, there's no kill like overkill. Alright, three more quests remain.
for the challenge quest. Saber Shiki, the last of the hotel quests. Thing is, is um, she's also made out of water, so she could do that on her own if she really wanted to. You know? She could legitimately probably do that on her own if she wished to. So, you know. She can probably take it away. She can probably take it away. Just saying. And this gets us... Summer Musashi Summer Mode Swimsuit Unlock. Alright. So next is to Casino Camelot, the Decapitating Bunny. We need an archer for this one. The break removes all of my buffs. That is incredibly dangerous. That is an incredibly dangerous thing to do on break. So I think I need to bring in the big gun here. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. I need to bring in Gil. 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 I could also bring in XA. Mm. XA would only really... She would only really benefit with overcharge, wouldn't she? That's the thing, isn't it? No, she wouldn't. It's just Saber class, not Saber face, right? XA! Let's mix it up a little bit. Let's not do the same old Gil shtick. Let us bring in XA for this party. And you know what? Since we're going to bring in XA, let's see if I can't find a Scotty. Yeah. Let's go with it like this. We'll have to be somewhat careful. So I need to plan this out well. I might get away with I might be able to get away without using the quick buffs on her right off the bat. Might be able to get away with that. Oops. I just saw that, J6. AK and Secrecy Decapitating Bunny, Ryogi Shiki. It's a little late for that, J6. Sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I should have thought of it, but I, I need to go fast. I honestly need to go fast. I do not have super too much more time for this stream. So I need to go as fast as I can, man. I've got to get this. I've got to get enough dancing coins done. I gotta get another quest done completely. Death resist down. Okay. So we're going in to this with bare minimum of buffs on XA. She does at the very least have a brave chain and we will stun as well just to be safe. You can certainly try in Minecraft tomorrow, aka you're probably going to beat me in a fight, because you will have the rage on your side. The power of rage is indeed mighty, after all. Okay, minimal buffs got through that first bar. That's actually a fair bit of relief. Only issues, I do not have a second NP right away. But I have a do I do have a pretty decent chain here. Okay. Scotty buff. Scotty swap. Scotty buff. Buff. Get all the quickness you can. Lower frickin' waivers gather rate. Give us some more stars. The lower gather rate meant nothing. With our attack boost, a little bit of boosting here. 
And... Smash! Come on, do it. Yes, there we go. Once again, I'm sorry, G6, but it had to be done. All the underground sword beauties have been defeated. We still have one fever, one non-fever quest to do, and that needs us to get dancing coins defeated. As well as the gather 200 million QP, but that's beside the point. Or rather, gather 300 million, but we can do that by doing the big chance all-in quest, it looks like. Alright, we got a Spiriton Dress for Shiki Saber, who I do not have. To be all the underground sword beauties gets us this Merlin command code, the Mage of Flowers. And be gauged by 10% whenever you... yourself whenever you attack with the engraved card. That's pretty good, and I might actually put that on Mashu. We need my help very well, very well. I'll be sure to help you if such a request is made. I may not be able to defeat enemies or solve tricky problems on my own, but I will not hold back if it's for the sake of my loving friends. Why? Because it quenches my thirst in life. It would benefit me in so many ways. Isn't that what life is all about? He's not wrong. Oh, that unlocked the, break, the big chance quest right away. Yay! So we can do this first and then do the dancing coins. Okay. Large amount of QP... QP will not be returned if you are defeated or withdraw from the battle. Yep, I'm ready to lose it all, probably. Okay. Okay. So, I gotta think. It says strong AoE Berserker. That literally has one servant of mine qualifies as a strong AoE Berserker. It's not XA. And in fact, I'm gonna even filter show only my berserkers these are all my berserkers and only one of them is currently strong enough to qualify it's not spartacus it's not jiang yu yet he'd probably be next it's the one and only berserker lot and then let's unfilter all these so i don't have all right so berserker lot scotty in the front lines um Mmm, this is gonna be rough. I can already feel... Like, I can... It's just something inside me is just telling me this is not gonna be an easy time, but... I've gotta do it. I've gotta do it. This is my best chance without bringing in... A friend, Musashi, who would just wreck. I wanna do this with my servant. You know? So I think this is gonna have to be how I go. If I can... If I can use command codes... Or command code. Command seals, I will, if I need to. But this is going to have to be how it starts. Let's do this. All in, indeed. There, I see through everything. A defense down as well. Royally sucks. Martha, of course, guarded against the defense down of first. Mana reversal. C star drop rate. Alright. How hard are we gonna flub this? How hard are we about to flub? I don't even wanna look. That's not a lot of damage. Oh no. Shit. Fudge. Fuck. 
do I do it? Do I just use a command spell? I don't know what the challenge quest is, but I think I need to use a command spell or two here. Because I'm not going down 50 million QP, let's be clear here. I'm not going to go down 50 million QP. Knew it. Complete your trading. Eternal Arms Mastery. Alright, Zerker Lot. Round two. Everybody's broken. That's something at least. Monster of Amy, Hero of Double Down, and I don't have a nickname. They're all even stronger than before. Chance time. Chance time. And chance time. Hero of the Endowed. Okay. Subity swap. I thought I had Merlin with me, not Waver. Stun! I gotta do it. I've gotta do it. It's do or die. I've gotta do it. Go. Go, Zerkerlot. Please. Please. Give me some love here, man. Give me some love. I need some victory. Well, we can't all be so good of players, man. We can't all be as skilled at FGO as you are. <laughs> I forgot to use the attack buff, damn it. Mm, this is about to hurt. This is about to hurt something fierce. Uh. Bah! <laughs> Oh, what's this no damage? What is this no damage stuff? Okay, okay, thank you for no damage, I guess. Bye, Lancelot. Oh, and these, and she's about to go too. Oh, and Martha's now ready. And I've got Waver in. Oh, Waver's gonna be so useful here, you know? Waver is just the most useful of the bunch in this situation. Fuck. Okay. Does Summer Martha have an AoE? I honestly don't know off the top of my head. Is Summer Martha AoE or... Single target. Martha Ruler. She's single target. Okay, if she does not target Waver, we should be fine here. For now, though, let's start whittling down her thing. If she does not target Waver, we should be fine. Should is the operating word here. MP doesn't do much damage, even with the defense debuff. I think that's a little bit more than 4k, man. I think that might be just a little bit more than 4k. 
Okay. Lambda is now on the field. This is actually kind of what I wanted to see was Lambda. Melt Envy. Mm, without the defense down, fair. If we can at least take down Arjuna here, we might have a better shot. That's what I'm banking on here, is taking down Arjuna. Come on, let's get Arjuna down! Oh, that was not as much damage because of the freaking defense cut. I hate that defense cut that they have. Or damage cut. Whatever cut. It's a cut of some sort. I hate that they have that. Oh, I locked out hard. Using command seals is probably a mistake. Why do you say that out of curiosity? And do this. Doot, doot, doot. Why do you think using command seals was a mistake? Okay, one down. Scotty down. And we have base melt now on the playing field. Okay. Trying to think, who do I, what do I attack? How do I attack? How do I attack? Uh, I need to whittle away at these defensive bars. These damage cuts are killing me if I don't get NPs off. At least they're not hitting that tough. Why are they not hitting that strong? would have broken their bars with two MPs, then you would take down the defense buff and use command seal has fully charged lane slot ready. I see. Um, melt. Reduce their power. Because that's, quite funnily enough, an excellent thing to do here. I should have it. I feel like I might have this. Even still. Lowering their def NP power probably is going to help out a metric ton here. The curse sucks. Don't get me wrong, that curse sucks hard. Lit that Martha is the main issue, though. You know, I was I legitimately didn't realize that the enemies would not be hard hitters. I was super worried that these enemies were going to just completely and utterly destroy me. That's why I was so panicked, because I just saw the lineup and it's like, oh shit, I'm up against some hard hitting as frick enemies. That's why I was so panicked going into this. I didn't realize they would hit like wet noodles for their NPs, for the most part. Arjuna hit pretty tough, admittedly. All right, and there goes Martha's damage cut. And of course, she has a gut skill. But it's going to be this is this is just too funny to not use. Drain NP from yourself, Melt. <laughs> Drain NP from yourself. For a nice double hit. So, doing it like this will take down Gorgon. 
And actually, I can probably, I should probably wait a turn on Summer Mounts. This gets rid of the Guts, and I don't know how big the Guts is, so that's why I'm doing it here. As well as max HP boost. Okay. I'm fine with those numbers. I'm fine with that. And then there was one. A ruler. The punch sate herself. I'm gonna actually try and save up for another um, double boosty. Yeah, let's save up for a double hit of the um, arts boost from Lambda. I don't think she can. I don't think she can. You know, ideally here, I could hit... Actually, can I hit 200... Can I hit a 500% NP on Lambda? I don't think I can, unfortunately. It'd be very close. I could very closely come to a 500% NP on Lambda here. But not close enough, unfortunately. Okay. We'll settle for a 300% boosty. Go, Lambda. Go. Get a defense off. Oh, no, wait. She's got debuff immune. Never mind. I completely forgot she applied that debuff immune to her earlier on in the whole fight. Whoopsie. Happens. It certainly happens. We're chipping her down, you know? Just chip, chip, chippery, chip, chip, chippery. And just keep chipping. <laughs> Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. I feel like normal melt will be enough to finish here. Of course, I might have just gotten cocky since she has her NP ready. Welcome back, Destructive. Welcome back. I think I should be fine, though, at this point. Get that evasion up. And get an attack boost. And let Lambda get a bit of boosty as well. Almost there. One more turn and she's down. Martha has one last shot in her, and it's gonna go down here via a lambda. Lambda, finish this off for me, please. Alright, there we go. Big money, no more a problem. 100 million QP! And bond for Zerkerlot. Woo! 
Oh boy. That was actually very, very um, rough. Semantics. You know, semantics. Alrighty. So that just leaves one more thing for me to do. How many do I need to do? I need... Ten more. I'm not going to be able to do this. Not tonight. I'm not going to be able to get all those dancing coins tonight. Even if it's it's like five minutes a run for me, but that's another 50 minutes. I'm not going to get it all tonight. Alright, so challenge quest and the completion of the last mission will probably be an independent video then. We at least did the main body of the summer event. There's just three, three missions and the challenge quest done, which it's not going to be too hard, I hope. You know, we'll, I'm going to do it independently, probably sometime tomorrow but i think i'm gonna have to call the stream here i've been going over on my intended amount so yeah for the most part summer is done um just these three missions left which is just a bit of time and i've got plenty of fever tickets i need to burn anyways so like it i was gonna be farming this for a while anyway so it it works out in the end it works out so for now, thank you guys so much for coming out. I do hope you enjoyed this stream. If you did, leave me some feedback in whichever way you so see fit. If you want to check out more by me, be sure to drop me a follow so you know when I go live. Or be sure to drop me a sub here on Twitch if you got the money to spare. Or on YouTube. Same name, same games. A lot of a backlog to watch. And it's free there. So thanks again so much. I hope you enjoyed. Have a fantastic evening, everybody. And maybe not right away. I might be doing something with my family here before going to bed. I'll get back to you on that in a little bit, J6, but bye-bye, everyone. I'll get the rest of this content done and on a video separately. Bye-bye.